sorry. I'm, um... Let's spend a couple minutes figuring out how this works. Oh, that's loud. This is louder than I thought. I had the game volume on and the background music was like, oh, you know, it was, it was audible and nice. And then I open up this and that's volume. Um, in Copolis Noobs, also, I'm, uh, I'm gonna actually create a screen projector so I can see this source projector. I forgot how silly this game is. It's very silly. I played through the tutorial to get to this point. Um, which was only a little bit, but I did play it. Um, hold on to your tentacles, it's in Incopolis News Time. Mine will actually need to put bed sheets on, very valid. Very valid, we've all been there. I had to do that yesterday, and it was annoying. <laughs> um, Newsflash, what is it, what is it? Incopolis's great zapfish has vanished. Seriously? That's bad. If it doesn't get found, we're gonna be out of power? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I wonder if it has anything to do with that UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, folks. Did I see your DM? I think I did. Did I not process it very good? Oh, yes, yeah. It did let me play from the tutorial. Um, I didn't have to race any stuff because I played it in uh, my profile, so everything's okay. That's all for now. For now, until next time, stay fresh. Are they... Welcome to Incopolis. This is the plaza where the freshest guys and gals come to hang out. Every day you can find people here enjoying their favorite pastime, battling. The huge building in front of you is Incopolis Tower. It's the city's most famous landmark. I can't believe there's plot in this game. It still shocks me when um, Splatoon 3 was announced. I think it was at like a, a Nintendo Games Direct thing. And I think it was one that I was streaming. And everyone was like, yo, it's Splatoon 3. And I, I just, I had no idea what was going on. Um, and finding out that there was plot blew my mind. Um, there's a lobby on the ground floor of Incopolis Tower for online battles. This is the Booyah base, a shopping mall for all your inkling needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle, okay. Staff in the shops can be pretty snobby. And they won't serve you if they don't think you're cool enough. That's rude. On the first floor of that building is the Battle Dojo. Here you can sharpen your skills by battling one-on-one -on -one against a friend. Uh, stick out of the back alley smells a little fishy. And next... Plot? Is that strange old guy? The kind of guy who get you mixed up in something dangerous. Why don't you just head over to the lobby in Incopolis Tower? That's where you get battling. I don't know. I kind of want to go to the shady fishy alley. I don't know about you. It still shocks me. Oh god, I'm sorry that the stream dropped. Hopefully... Okay, I haven't dropped any frames. Hopefully that's uh, your end. Um, You don't know how active the servers will be? I'm very curious to find out. Hello. Spike, you're gonna wanna get online before we do business. Connect to the internet and we can talk. Damn it. Not the internet. Who is this? Is this a real person? I'm just gonna ignore you for now. What do I think of the controls? I'm not sure how I feel yet, because obviously they uh there's tilt controls. And I'm I'm really not sure how I feel. So far, I think it's okay. That's the plot hole. So I have to choose to enter the plot hole. Maybe I won't. What's your advice? You better get to the lobby. You need to play some turf or battles and raise your level. His tip, once you've done with that, try visiting the weapon shop. Okay, thank you, cat that sits on the wall. Do you have the Wii U connected to Wi-Fi? Uh, I don't know. And I don't fully know how I'd do it. Hold on. Let's, um, let's mute, let's, uh, let's make the... Let's make the catch card invisible for a second. Um. That's an internet symbol. 
internet browser. These noises make me feel like I haven't connected to the internet. Um, if you don't know, you won't. Okay. Uh, I can't believe this thing has an internet browser. Well, hmm. Hold on. Settings? Um... Let me try the internet browser again, and if I can- Because I might have set it up, like, I have a vague memory of setting it up. If I can use the internet browser, then I surely have internet, right? That seems right. It's in settings. Can I access settings without closing the game? Um... How do I save? Oh shit, I- I closed it. I didn't even make an attempt to save. That was, um, not my best work. Right, system settings? You've been trying to finish Splatoon and you have three levels left. That doesn't sound like many. I'm guessing that's of the story as well. Um, that's how you used to legally watch movies and TV shows on your TV. Damn, that's smart. I respect that. We've all been there. Um, I just remember, like, the, the DSi internet browser. That was very fun. Right, let me just get out my Wi-Fi password. It's somewhere in this box. Where are you, little Wi-Fi password? There you are. What a gigantic piece of card, so I don't forget. Okay. Um... Baby, people are with a ball believer. I realized I never wished one last stream, so here's two inklings saying it for me. Thank you, Corvus, for the the hip flibby buff bibbly hip a boaba boaba bibbly. I I have no clue. Um, I have no clue how like accurate uh, that is of how the uh. The inklings speak, but I'm gonna assume that you're 100% accurate. Um, that seems right. <laughs> Thank you for the for the wishes, Corvus. Um, uh, you're catching me in the process of actually setting this up with the internet because I think I had it in my head that it was already set up. Like I had it in my head that was a thing it made me do off the bat, but I suppose I didn't use it at all for um. Twilight Princess, did I? So I guess it just never came up. Wii U browser, my beloved. It's a much better browser. I mean, the fact that the Wii U connects to the TV rather than just like... Because the DSi can connect to the TV. And the Switch can connect to the TV, but I'm not confident that the Switch has a browser. Okay, damn. We have internet. Set that as the default connection. Uh, let me put my internet back alongside my global health insurance card and my passport. All just in this one easy to locate and steal from drawer. Okay, I think I'm connected to the internet now. So I think all I have to do is actually load up the game again. Try two! Round two! And a hip, hip, that's too many F's, I's and L's, I have no idea what's going on with that. A hip, flip, flippy, bribbifly, papfly to all. Wow, that one's complicated. Did you come up with that? That's beautiful. Did you come up with that? Or are those real words? Is that like a translation? Is that like an inkling translation thing that you can find on the internet? Or is this another case of um, Corvus languages? This game is loud. The music's fun though. Um, Switch doesn't have a browser. The fact that it doesn't have a browser is legitimately stupid. I don't know. I think they're onto something with that. They're like, oh, we project onto your TV and you want to watch Netflix on your Switch? Don't be a fool. Get a smart TV. I think they have a brand deal with every smart television. That's my belief. In my heart of hearts, I believe that. Game is very gammon. 
Gamers do be gammon right now. I'm trying to anyway. I'm really hoping that the game saved that I'd played through the tutorial because I'll be honest, I found the tutorial kind of hard and I don't want I don't want any of you to know that. Right, there we go. It saved my tutorial progress. Thank you for the bits, Toxic. Um if you look at your playtime and your Wii U, top ten, uh, the top things are the uh, browser and YouTube. That makes a lot of sense. Right, let's go to the sus alley. I want to talk to the internet person. Hello, internet person. I hear that you need my internet. But I did. I did! That's what I've just spent my time doing! I'm so frustrated. My heart is broken. I feel like it's because everyone used the Wii U to legally watch stuff. Yes. Um. Okay. You may have to battle first. Don't make me log in with a Nintendo network. I don't have one. And I don't want one. I don't know what to do. Can I do the plot? Should I just do the plot instead? I think I might just do the plot instead. <laughs> that seems easier um, than connecting my device to the internet, which is notoriously very hard. Okay, so we followed an old frail guy. Wait. Hold up, are there straight up no Wii U servers anymore then? The plot is fun, to be fair. That's so sad though that this entire game is only the plot now, if the servers are gone. Uh, the- the- the Octarians are coming. Ah! I'm sorry, I lost my call for a moment. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary Squidbeak Splatoon. Splatoon? Game? <laughs> Look in your eyes, I've been waiting for a young'un like you. The great zapfish that powers Incopolis has vanished, and though nobody will believe me, it's the work of Octarians. They're after revenge for their defeat in the war. So this is Octopus versus Squid, the game. I was keeping an eye on them myself, of course, but they stole the great zapfish from right under my nose. Please, you must help me recover the great zapfish. I have a feeling this guy wants me to do something about this great zapfish. Smart TV, but like dumb stupid bimbo TV. Himbo TV for the win. Um, this entire game is only the plot. I'm not used to games being only the plot. Games always have side quests and mini games and online servers. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Peak Splatoon. Take this special hero suit, it will help you withstand their ink. What a perfect fit for a hand-me-down from Agents 1 and 2. Oh god. What happened to Agents 1 and 2? Okay. Is that? Okay, I I'll have you all know I'm really bad at this game. Like, I already have no idea what's going on. Um. Shoot it. Uh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'll be honest, I hate the controls. I feel like I'm flailing. I feel like I'm learning to drive. Oh, what is this? This seems like electricity. Electricity bad? <laughs> electricity bad. The Splatoon series is a piece of post-apocalyptic media. That checks out. That makes a lot of sense, sure. Okay. Okay, that's fine. They become natural? God, I hope so, because currently, this is hell. Um. What does the negative button do? That's research notes. That's something to do with the plot. Power up is my ability to get new upgrades. Agents 1 and 2 are fine. Don't worry about it. I'm definitively worried about it. What are you? So that's that's a. I can't do anything about that. The little invisible kettles in the ground became visible when you eat them fully. Wait, what became invisible? 
Keep inking the manhole until it materializes. Wait, this? Oh, okay. Why is the entrance to their lair this? What, why are kettles the entrances to their lair? This is confusing. Thank you for the hint. A destroyed Eiffel Tower can be seen in the trailer for Splatoon 3. That makes me happy. Okay, my ink is green now. That's fun. Ah! Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I might hurt. Do I have health? Am I wounded? What's this? What's this little character? Okay. Wait, there's more. Okay. Ah! Fuck, I hate tilt controls. This looks like a, a checkpoint. Okay. Okay. You recover health by swimming in the ink. So if I just swim around, I'll be a, a happy pup. Okay, I recover ink from doing that as well, don't I? I know that at the very least. Okay. Ah! Oh my god, this, this is awful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn off gyro controls because I have no idea how to process a single thing that is happening right now. Or even how to speak. Please. It'll make you actually love them. Okay, I'll give them a try for longer. Maybe it's just unnatural because I'm not used to them. Is that a person? They're a bomb with R? Okay. Can I- can I lock on? Okay. I wonder if we'll come across our old pals with the gooey hooey in this game. Ah! Maybe. Oh god. Okay. Um. How do I aim? Or have I got to be closer? Change the sensitivity because it makes a lot of difference. I may have to. Um. Oh wait, so I'm more throwing bombs to distract them. So I can then hit them. Okay. Ah. Um. How do I change the sensitivity then? Because this is... Or even can I? Hold on. Maybe I need to hold it a different way? Use R to distract them with a bomb, use ZL to recover. Well, I'm gonna need ink to do that, so. You can't even see me. I'm not even real. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah! I threw the bomb at myself. On the plus side, I don't think it hurts me. Can I not do that? Ah, I see. That's why I can't do that. I see now. God damn. Imagine just playing this cutesy, brightly coloured game and suddenly this muddy homunculi man comes shambling out of the ink towards you. Wait, who's the muddy homunculi man? Just like a human guy? Just like a real little real guy? Why would he be in my game? Okay, and they fully just don't know I'm here when I when I hide in the ink. That's good. I wouldn't, to be completely honest. I'd forget. <laughs> we can delete that one. I like I like the uh, you can't even see me. I'm not even real. Attributed to simply no one. A very ominous statement. Okay. Oh, I just feel like I'm constantly twisting my wrist at a really awkward angle. Which maybe isn't true. Maybe I'm just... God. 
when you don't play a game as a child, it, if games are hard. Yeah. Recentering. Yeah, I have to press Y to do that. But even then, like I, ah. Okay, is there someone else? Oh, you. Ah. <laughs> okay, there, there it is. I see. Fake. <laughs> I see fake because uh, I could never have even said that. Never in my life. Never in my life have I ever spoken such words. Okay. At least the recentering button exists. Okay. Use that with the stick. Horizontal movement? Give me a second to figure out which way is the horizon. I'll get there in a mo. Okay. Okay, that went well. Do I have a key? I'm guessing I don't have a key. Okay. Horizontal is horizon, as in, what brings the horizon? Shit. Okay. This way for horizontal and then vertical like this, okay. I can try and do that. That's not too terrible. Ah! At least they forget that I'm here after I disappear. God, I'm secretly really glad that the Wii U servers are just gone because if I'd played this against real people that know what they're doing, it would have been, it would have been real embarrassing. Like, really. Okay, uh, the vault was this way. At least the maps aren't confusing, you know? Okay. Okay. Um, I think partly my issue is that I'm having the exact same thing that I have from driving lessons, where the second my hands are off the wheel, I am awful. Like, the second that my, my hands are off the wheel, I immediately forget um, that my hands need to be doing something. Um, and then my hands just start drifting. It's pretty bad. Okay. In the online, death isn't really a fail state. You get a 15 second timer and re you respawn at your side of the map. Okay. I'd happily, like, I'd love to watch someone play this game. Well, I suppose I'd have to watch people play it in the past if the servers are really down. Look for a key. Oh, I see the key, the key up there. How would I get up there? Hmm. I could do a big jump, right? Could I do a really big jump? Hmm. Hmm, can I go under that? I cannot. You should try the online because the servers are still up. Okay, so maybe it is just the fact. Do you know if you needed like a paid uh, Nintendo ID to play this? Because I don't... Oh wait, no, the key's there? But what's the other thing? What's the thing on top of that then? Is that just a person? Who's that? Huh. Ah! What was that? That was feral. Okay. I'll take that one because that one can just be killed. Or not. Easily distracted though. That's good. Good news for me. Okay. And then the key was in the boxes. Online was free on Wii U? God. That's, um, that's delightful. I'm so ruined by the current system of stuff not being online. 
that that seems unheard of. Unheard of and beautiful. A world where I can play online for free? No, unbelievable. Simply not true. Ah, okay. Ah! Enjoy death, purple things. Why are we killing them? Are they wrong? I don't know if they're wrong. Uh, you should do a s <laughs> record a skit or do a stream as Dark Mellow or Anti Mellow, like every online media reviewer ends up doing. I should, you're right. That would be natural. That would be incredibly natural and fun. <laughs> and I could do like a back and forth cutting, like, like, whoa, who are you? How did you get in my house? I'm you, but slightly m more miserable. And it would, it would be like that, but with the cuts, obviously. Okay, so like, this is the mission zone? Um, the win versus fell is just who has the most ground covered. Okay, so you're just trying to like, paint stuff. And then I'm guessing occasionally kill people so that you can like, make sure that you have the paint. Okay, I see now. Um. It's why the NSO service gets so much shit, because it's basically the same, if not worse, than what was available on the Wii U for free. Yeah. Let's, um, let's give it another try. Yeah, let's give it another try. Um. Okay. Shoot ink to recover entrances. Oh, this is plot. Why was I skipping through this? How do I get out of this? Oh, I... I thought I was stuck in a dialogue loop. I was not. I was simply pressing A and he was saying a new thing every time. That's, um, that's good to know. They're Octos. And, and have we asked why they're attacking? If this is a post-apocalypse, maybe they deserve some freedom and rights. Okay, I'll receive. There's no Nintendo Network ID linked with the current user. Okay, let's, um, let's go back so that only I can see the screen. There might be a thing in options. I'm first of all going to make the camera less sensitive. Um. Where's color lock? No Nintendo Network ID registered for this user. Okay. So, huh, okay, I think the servers are still up, but I think if you, if you didn't already have a Miiva, like, like a me. Okay, wait, no, user settings? Hold on. Let's give this a try. It's possible that if you didn't already have a me when the servers closed, that you can't do it now. Um... Preparing an update. What? I just closed Splatoon. You might have to tiptoe your home. That's okay, Corvus. Technically, the stream only just started. You know, in normal terms of when a normal stream begins. Also, I'm having to go back to this anyway. What, what is it updating? It's updating! <laughs> Why is it updating? It's the Wii U. The Miiverse servers don't even exist. Why is it updating? This feels wrong. This feels haunted. Trash, I think your Wii U is haunted. This seems... Oh, to be fair, this is... Like, I only just connected to the internet. So... So maybe this is just... Every update. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, this is the first time it's been connected to Wi-Fi since you used it before you got your Switch. So this is the first time this thing's been connected to the internet in several years. I can see now... I can see now why it's doing this to all of us. It maybe has a couple things to work through. There might be one or two minutes for this. 
Update stream. Oh, the console will now restart. I didn't plan for this. Two and a half years. In that case, it's kind of amazing that the update only took like five, ten minutes and it's already done. Like it's already over. Now I just have to hope that restarting this, it's still connected. Okay. Antenna network ID is an ID required. Creating and linking an ID allows you to use stuff. Create one. Yes. Okay, I think I can make one. I am really sorry that I didn't have this prepped before I started streaming today. That probably would have been smart. But I honestly think I thought that it was just connected to the internet. Okay. It's telling me that I have to be an adult to make this. Okay. Oh, if you have an ID that is already linked to a Nintendo 3DS, you can, or, uh, you can, like, link it to your- Oh, that's so cute! I technically do have a Nintendo network ID. Because I did have a- well, I had a 2DS. But- But it shouldn't know that. Oh god, I'm gonna have to just fully make a Nintendo ID right now. It shouldn't take too long, right? Like, what details will it want? I'm just gonna accept every agreement blindly. Okay. Date of birth. The every day of every month. The default year is 1990, I need you to know that. 1990 is the default year. Um. God. It must have location search on or something, because it, it knew sort of where my location was. Uh, Dublin, Lisbon, London, there we go. Can I, can I be called Melomaniac? Please tell me Melomaniac isn't taken. Damn it. Uh, Melomaniac with two C's is my classic go-to when Melomaniac fails. There we go. I've chosen Melomaniac as my Nintendo Network ID. Jesus. I am lightly horrified that that this still exists and you can still just make this. Also, the way that it's like create a password between 6 and 16 characters. What if I want more characters? Why would they hold me back to 16? Okay. Register an email address. Of parent or guardian, that's cute. Does that mean that I'm officially my own guardian? Can someone else be my guardian? I don't know if I'm ready yet. Having to put in my email as well. Trash is Wii you dogs as well. It's possible that it was just using, like, the last locational information, which obviously would have been shared. Um, but I have left it as unspecified just in case, because I definitely don't want the Wii U to be, like, halfway into Splatoon and be like, hey, do you want to link to other people from, from your postcode? And then it just puts it on screen. I do not want to receive emails. This is all correct. Never send me an email. That is made, I am in. Enjoy being horizontal. You've been vertical long enough. Okay. Let me just uh, accept an email real quick. <sighs> Who's making Nintendo Network IDs in this day and age? Like, I have a Nintendo account for um for my switch this feels so weird okay it's been linked i think we're good now <laughs> flashing lights in the postcode it's like did you want to connect to friends in your local area here's your postcode here's what it looks like on a map here's your home address here's your full name 
Okay, I'm also gonna open the game and try and connect to internet stuff and see what it does because I don't want it just displaying my email or something. <laughs> I love Wii U so much. Having played more with the Wii U, I'm still not a fan of gyro controls, but I kind of hate them in any format that they're in. Um, but the Wii U is definitely good. Like, compared to the Switch, which has really bad online stuff and doesn't even have an internet browser, the Wii U seems good for, for like, multiplayer. Um, and also, I'm getting used to the console. It has some really nice, like, grippy bits on the side. Okay. The game may contain product placement and advertising? What? Since when do games contain products? What am I being sold? Right, um... Ah, uh, I'm just so concerned it's gonna bring up, like, doxable information. It's probably fine. We've got some update information. What is it? What is it? Ranked battles are now available. Really? Give it a go if you think you've got what it takes. Nice, nice. Um, let's unveil the current regular battle stages. Here they come. I love running around a deserted mall. It's good exercise if nothing else. I love these two. There used to be a train station here, but now there's not. Okay, so this is hinting at the apocalyptic landscape. That's good. Walleye warehouse? What's my strategy? Fight well? Get good? God, these levels, I miss them. I think I saw a diamond sparkling. It's probably just Judd's eyes again. Well then, folks, until next time, stay fresh. I love them. I love these two so much. They're so cute and wonderful. Okay. Walleye warehouse? You love ranked and splat too. I'll give it a go in this one now. Might as well. We should actually be able to play now as well. Welcome to the lobby. Participating in battles will increase your level and earn you money. A higher level will let you access the freshest gear in the shop and play all new battle modes uh, here in the lobby to so get that level up. Okay. I need money and I need to battle as much as I can. Let's get you started with a regular battle and don't forget to check in with shop keys, uh, shopkeepers. Okay. Regular battle, ranked battle. I'm not even... You've got to be level 10 to do some of these things. That's cute. Okay. Um, like games where you have to play on the gamepad and TV at the same time. Yeah, they're kind of enjoyable. I suppose there's more to focus on in the sense that you've kind of got to look down to change some things. And while you're looking down, you might miss something. But... You know, arguably it's just the separation of the top screen of the DS and the bottom screen of the DS, but sort of expanded. Now we pray that people are playing Splatoon 1 in 2022. Okay, we'll see how long it takes for eight people to join. It can't be as long as it takes for eight, for like four people to join in Dead by Daylight, surely. I mean... This isn't that bad. This is actually pretty okay. Considering. We already have six people. The map will be on your bottom screen. You can teleport team members by tapping on them. Okay. Make the most turf to win. So simply colour the best. They're a team and I'm blue team. No, I'm orange team? Okay, this is so weird. What's the premise here? What do I do? Just sort of paint? Is that the plan? Ah! Okay, they teleported to me. Do they know that that's alarming? Do they know that I'm alarmed? Paint and try not to be killed. Okay. I think orange team are doing pretty good. It's just like De Blob 2, the game. Which I love. I love the game De Blob 2. Don't we all? Ah! What does Killer 
whale mean? I might swim around for a bit and then just like place a bomb. That seems like a good idea. Okay. What does danger mean? I can paint the trees? That's cool. I have no idea if we're winning. I'll be completely honest. I'm looking at the map. I don't think blue team have painted anything. Like, do you see anything from blue team? Where do I find them? Okay, I keep hitting that. Can I not climb this one? I don't think I can climb that one. Okay, I'm just gonna run around and do this then. Usually be an actual fight by now. Yeah, this doesn't seem correct. I think, like I'm looking at the map on my screen and I'm pretty confident everything is orange. Like, I don't think anything is blue. This is the other spawn. This is kind of disturbing, right? Where are they? Wait, was that them? There's no blue players? Wait, that's why? <laughs> so you're telling me that that entire time I was running around painting for no reason. Well, I hope we all feel really good about our victory. Did the four blue players immediately drop out? I got XP, but at what cost? I honestly think at the cost of my own, like, you know, quality as a person. Also, these are just some of the same people. I feel like I've, um, what's, what's the word? Merit, not merit. Oh, I can't think of the word. God, I was hoping I'd have like thoughts today. I was really hoping I'd have more thoughts and more presence of mind than I did on Monday. Cause Monday I remember just being so head empty. Uh, but yeah, no, I can't think. Okay, this is the same one, right? This looks the same. Okay, and I'm red team. And they're blue team. Okay. At least they're actually playing this time. That's, um, kind of scary, actually. Uh, I don't know how to play against players that are real. But that's fine. I guess I'll learn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is so weird. Oh, blue is actually um, doing something. Okay, I'm just gonna continue with my strategy of bombing stuff. Seems like it's working. I say working, I think we're losing. And that's fine. Sometimes that's okay. To be fair, I think two of our players have dropped out. Ah. Okay. And I'm also getting used. Special thing is a shield. Oh, that's cool. They're just dying. Ah, what the fuck was that? What the living shit? I was bombed? They're doing my 
strategy. That's for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ink strike? Is that just like a blue airstrike? An ink nuke? Fucking hell. I'm terrified. I'm genuinely afraid. Okay, we can't do that. That's not a paintable wall. Okay. God, just do our best. Each weapon has a different um, special and a sub. Oh, it's just Destiny 2. It's just Destiny. It's just the game Destiny 2. Okay. Ah! It's literally just Destiny 2. If you see blue, go cover it. Yeah. God, blue killed it there. Although it wasn't actually as much of a difference as I thought. Like, looking down, it looked like they had way more. But that was only like a 4% difference. Yeah, surprisingly close. I got my little pennies from it. My little piss baby points. That's what the P stands for. God, my finger hurts. Um, so the weapon I have has the shield. I did the most ground coverage. Oof. I think that's the bombs. I think, I think just swimming around and then throwing bombs in just nebulous directions. I think that actually kind of worked. Okay, so this one's a 3v3. We're getting there. This is a new map. Wait, are we all red? Wait, is this like... Is this a team game? Is this a team game? I don't understand. This is really confusing. Okay. I mean, there seems to be something, right? There's something here causing damage. What the hell is this? Is this just to try and get there in time? What is this? Is this like a map that someone else made? And we're just gauntleting through it? Is this a race? What is this? I mean, it's kind of fun, but like, is there a timer? What's going on? What the fuck is happening? Um, okay. I mean, sure. One minute left? One minute left to do what? Oh, I see. What do I see? What the hell? Where are we going now? What is happening? Okay, wait, do we jump? 
What is that? What is that? <laughs> it wasn't that. What the shit? If the goal is to get to the end, I've uh, just failed. What the hell? Oh, teleport back to them? Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot that was a thing I could do. They might have done this to help lower player numbers and just made team levels. It's kind of fun. Just team levels where the point is to sort of progress. That's really nice, actually. It is weird that the game still sort of treats it as like a battle, though. Like, like it treats it as if you have fought against a blue team. Also, is 50 like the level cap or something? Because that squid angel is very high up and hasn't really moved. So either by the time you get to level 50, it takes a lot to actually level up, or 50's the cap. Okay. So this is uh, fight other people, I think. No, it isn't. Straight up, none of these are fighting other people. What? What is going on? This is so weird. Have I just ended up with a lobby where, like, no one does anything? This is the weapon testing area? I guess I'm testing weapons. What the hell? I can't even, like, get that high up either. What the hell? Like, purchasing a weapon, you test it in here. Surely that means the arena- oh no, absolutely, the, the arena's tiny. Like, you can see it on the, the map at the bottom. And it's just incredibly small. How was that? When you teleport, it goes like that? That's kind of fun. It's blue now? Well, I suppose this is difficult in a way. What the fuck? The hell? So now the rest of it is just this turning blue? We honestly might lose. The shit. This is so odd. can't find anything about this anywhere. It's just a really odd thing that I suppose exists. But like, it's so weird that I've had so many of them in a row. Like, I'm guessing this isn't most people's experience of these. What is this? If the whole map turns blue in last second, I'll scream. Maybe exit the lobby after this. I think I might try and reset because this is just so, so weird. We had like nearly full coverage. What the fuck? Why are they cheering? Can um, can players make maps? Is it possible that that's like what's happened and a bunch of players have made their own maps and the maps are just like this? Because this is so weird. Right. We'll give it a mo. 
just to hopefully let whoever they were doing that to start their battle. Um, I'm at level three now. I could maybe go to the shop. That's not player made. That's just the testing phase. That's so weird. That's incredibly odd. Okay, well, we'll go try and, like, purchase something and then we'll head back. I'm very sorry. The thing is, we have a sort of rule. We don't sell to people who aren't fresh. Maybe if you reach level four. Oh, damn it. Level four? We're so close. So close to being cool enough. As it is, we're stinky and hot. Like cooked fish. And not fresh fish. We're stinky squid. I think squid anyway, right? Yeah. You're not cool. Assigned not cool by shopkeeper. You hate to see it. It's weird because it says the stages are Arowana Mall and Bluefin Depot, but that's just not what we've seen. Squid, okay, yeah. It makes me feel like maybe Splatoon 3 would be worth giving a try. Splatoon 3 isn't out yet, right? Like, that's still just announced and coming out soon. There's a minigame on the gamepad? Oh wait, yeah, you're right, shit! I don't know how to play it. Wait, what? But we're on the same team, I don't... Squid Angel, Squid Angel, what is your plan here? Please look at me, Squid Angel. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no, they can make words. They can make words, this is terrible. They could say bad words. Do they not know how much I fear that? I'm so morbidly- Nope, nope, I don't trust that. I saw the words, I'm A, we're leaving, we're leaving. How do we leave? How do we get out? How do we get out? <laughs> How do we escape? Fuck, I'm trapped in a lobby with a person that can communicate with me. Get me out of here. I have no idea what they're writing and I'm scared to find out. How do I leave? How do I leave? No, I didn't want to teleport to them. No, don't look at what they're saying. Don't look. Run away. Run away, everyone. Everything's fine. I'm sure they're saying nothing. I wouldn't be concerned. Ah. Um. I don't think there's a way to close out of this. And I mean that. There's nothing on the gamepad. There isn't? You can't leave the game? This is... This is a weird kind of torture. I can see on the map, but it, it kind of just looks like I'm a... And then the letter... H. Like it's really hard to see exactly what they said. But I'm scared of what it is. I fear, you know? I have fear. I have the fear. I've played too much um, Jackbox to be comfortable with a person being able to write on the map, you know? Well, I guess we just live with this for like 20 more seconds. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. They're saying lol. Oh, don't look. Don't look. Don't look and we'll be fine and we'll be safe. How do they have blue? Okay.
I still do not know what they wrote and I don't want to know. How is it blue? Oh, does that say I'm a hacker? Oh, that's what that says. They hacked the lobby. Welp. I guess we can't do regular battles now. Ever again. Whoops. <laughs> yep. Um, turf war with players all over the world, the game tells you. All over the world, the game says? When really it means with specifically one player who has specifically hacked the game. At least I can go buy things now. This is like full guys all over again. Is there nothing left in this world that is pure and good? Can we not just play silly game and be joyful? Welcome to Cooler Heads, I hope you take a look around. Abilities, oh I can have glasses? I kind of want glasses. Aww. Glasses are cute. That's why it was doing the weird level things. It was doing the weird level things because they were hacking it. And they're level 50, which probably I now realize is not their actual level, but probably what they hacked it to be. If that's how that works. I feel like I'm talking out of my ass. Like, oh yes, they have hacked it to be that you can be level 50. Okay. So swim speed up, quick super jump, ninja squid, special charge up, run speed, ink saver. I like this shirt. Um, each time gives a power up. Yeah, I saw that the uh, the glasses were, what were the glasses? They were something increasing. I think it was um jump height. So I'm just trying to assemble an outfit that I like <laughs> and then we'll see what it gives us. Um, and then we might try the plot again. Who sits and thinks I'm a hack Splatoon 1 online games, right? Oh wait, I was just in here. That just seems like such an odd, an odd move to make, you know? Hacking Splatoon 1 online games. You know, one of the most popular things a person can hack. Okay, good to see you in shrimp kicks and you were looking kind of slick. You've been battling, let me see what I can do for you. Just so you know, it has abilities. Okay. Bomb range up, that's kind of good. Damage up. Let's go with these fun little boots. Wait, no, I wanted to equip it now. Uh, I press plus to equip. Hell yeah. Look at our fit. Look at our fit. We're looking really good with the bumper buttons. Okay, let's give that a try. I see. Oh, and there is a weapons shop as well. Okay. So weapons and special weapons. This is just like Destiny 2. Splash shot. A version of the weapon that was used in the Great Turf War. When this weapon made a splash with the youth, it helped to popularize the turf wars we know today. The full auto splash shot, burst bombs, and bomb rush make this an ideal set for learning the ropes. Even pro battlers might want to go back to the basics once in a while. Get ready to build the splat roller. Represents the roller class of weapons used for combat and painting the floor. Tap ZR to hurl ink foes and or hold it down to paint the floor beneath you as you run. That's cool. Became so popular now, a recognized style. That includes suction bombs. Oh my god, this is too much information, Sheldon. Charge a weapon for long range offense. Hold down ZR to build a pink, then release it to fire all at once, painting a long path. I want to try the roller one. Oh my god. Okay, no, too much information. I want the roller. Yeah, I want the roller. Okay. That's so big. Why is it so big? I thought it would be like a small thing. It's a really big roller, that's fun. You could never get into roller, but a lot of people love it. I want to give it a try. Um, we should press Y to test it. Oh, back there, yeah. Let's give that a go. Um, at least we know what the test arena looks like now. Like that's not gonna be a surprise. Why? Nope. 
Wait, can I not try the weapon that I have? Wait, maybe I can try if I open up the equip menu. Like maybe that's how that works. Yeah, there we go. Try it out. Okay. Okay, I kind of like it. I mean, I don't know how you would get anything on the wall. I guess like that. So it's more for rolling and running around and painting like big areas. Hmm. Ah, and then the ink roller runs out of ink. That's so cute. I don't know why that brings me so much joy, but it definitely does. Oh, that's cool. That's the special? That's very fun. Okay. Really bad policy and relying on the others in the team for that. So it's more about being able to like paint in front of you as you go. So this one's better for like, if the team has got a lot of their color down, you could just sort of paint in front of you. Okay, I'd be willing to give it a try. But I can see how it would only really even be helpful in online. Yeah, cause that's all it does for walls. It creates like a baseline um, that you can use. Let's exit. Let's try online one more time. And let's really hope that the person that hacks the games is simply gone. Let's hope they've, they've simply gotten bored of hacking Splatoon 1. Because, let's face it, that sounds really boring. That sounds like it would be boring to do. <laughs> oh, the weapons are only for the online. Okay, that makes sense. So the plot requires you to have just the abilities that that weapon gives you. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at this. Just people playing the game. Just normal level 1 through 14 players that definitely haven't hacked it. How do I play the mini game on uh, my controller? What do you mean miss? How do I play the mini game? I don't think I can play this. None of the buttons are working. Obviously there's no way to show that, but like, it's just not really doing anything. Maybe they took down the online servers for the mini game. Oh wait, ZR is jump. Okay, hold on. I know it now. Oh, and you can charge your jumps. That's cute. Wait, this is really adorable. That's so lovely that they added a little mini game. Okay, also everyone's in the game. Right trigger to jump up the platform. That's so cute. Okay, this looks normal. This looks like an actual two team thing. And also we get to be pink. I've always wanted to be pink. Okay, this is interesting. We'll see if I like it. It definitely feels slow. But that's kind of okay. That was fun. And I get to be pink. Oh, whoops. That happened. Okay. But I can teleport to people, right? So if I teleport to the person at the front... Oh, that's water. I probably shouldn't go in the water. Okay, this seems good. This is an actual game with actual players. 
real life actual people. Okay. That was probably bad. I aimed at the sky, but I thought it might do something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Simply rolling around in a in a circle. That was enjoyable. Several lines you have Elantris, because it's in Splat 2 and you were playing Wait, what? Elantris is in Splatoon 2? What are you saying? Is El Elantris is in Splatoon 2? That's kind of- wait. I don't know how you didn't die doing the circles, because simply Roller is too powerful. Too based and powerful. I'm simply too strong. You've got no idea. <laughs> this is irrational and silly. Oh, whoops, I think I'm gonna die, but that's okay. I got a kill. I got like two kills. We're not actually making progress, funnily enough. Um because like we probably need to retake some ground this way oh god i'm stuck okay i think we might have lost narrowly though surely right Oh, that was less narrow than I thought. I got a shit ton of kills though. <laughs> I got what? I got- is that I got killed four times? I have no idea what those numbers mean. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, because the level is in Splat 2 and you were playing it when a major plot reveal happened. Okay, valid. I was, um... I was fully assuming, I was fully assuming that, um, I was assuming that there was an Elantris, uh, inspired level in Splatoon 2. It's possible. There's a world where that's real, you know. Gamer hours, hello Spark. How's Splunin? I am steadily learning the controls. I'm not very good at this game, but I can see why it's fun. Um, how many people- uh, how many peers, how much ground you've covered, so you did best on your team? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I- I would be the weak link of a strong team, but apparently I'm the strong link of a weak team, so that's good to know. Um. Damn good maps today. Arowana, Mall, and Bluefin Depot, are they good? Do they have good, uh, association? I'm gonna play the little squid game. Um while while we go i can't believe um splatoon predicted squid squid game <laughs> the little mini game's honestly really fun though i got my goal and i got a bonus i'm on stage two already aroma uh good bluefin decent okay arowana good bluefin decent have i done arowana yet because I definitely think we've done Bluefin. Oh god, they're further apart, this level. Okay, so I should probably hold down less to jump. This mini game is really fun. There's no reason that it should be, I'm just a little squid doing little jumps. Oh, I died. I died. You listen to Elantris, Mistborn Era 1 and Warbreak while playing Splat 2. Damn! I had no idea. God, Elantris was so good. Elantris and Warbreaker, like in retrospect, Warbreaker slapped. Like Warbreaker absolutely popped off. Um, I really want to convince James to read Warbreaker because I feel like he'd really like it. Um, but it's kind of hard to, it's really hard to convince a person to read Warbreaker based on the bio alone. 
like if you read the the bio and you consider approaching it not having read other Brandon Sands and stuff, you're like, this is too much lore. It is simply too much lore. Um, uh, maps change every four hours and they changed at eight. Oh, did they? Oh, damn. It's a shame that for the first hour we were struggling with the internet. Sorry, for the first half hour even. So if they change to eight, they'll change again at like midnight. Aw, it's nice that they're still actually, like, keeping up this game then, and keeping up the servers, and even doing, like, stage swapping. There's changing water levels, the resort? That's cool. Um. You play a lot of Splat 2 still. What break is your least favourite? Really? I loved it. Like, I think I really loved Warbreaker. Aw, try again. That's heartbreaking. That's really sad. I might, um, we'll load it up. We'll try again. Uh, and I might have to go get some laundry out of the machine in a minute anyway. I think James would enjoy it. I really think he would. Like, I think Warbreaker of all things, with it being a single novel on its own for now. Oh, it's just so good. I loved Warbreaker. There's no one playing right now. Where the lobby at? Funnily enough, Spark. The uh, player base for online Splatoon 1 is minimal. We should join the lobby. Spark, um, this is, this is Trash's Wii U. This is, this is Trash's Wii U. I stole it. I stole it to play it. Break could give you Vashon, that's the best thing it did. Otherwise I can comfortably say it's your least favorite. That's very fair. I don't know what my least favorite is. It's hard to say. Mm, if I'm honest, Mistborn Era 2 is good and it has its moments, but... Eh. Eh. I could take it or leave it. I could take it or leave it. Yikes. Listen, I don't- I didn't have a Wii U back in the day. I had the Wii, and then by the time the Wii U came out, I think I was older. I was still at an age where I liked the Wii. And the Wii U didn't initially happen to think that I didn't think the Wii was doing fine, you know? Um, so I just kept having a Wii and then eventually we got rid of it. Um, and probably rebought it or something. Yeah, no, no, we didn't even get rid of- we didn't even get rid of the Wii eventually. It just went in a drawer for ages because, um, I, I played Ben 10 on the Wii. <laughs> God, that's so good. I really wish that I could connect, uh, a DS to the um, capture card. And I know there are ways that you can do it. Like there, are, there's software you can get and like capture card things that you can get that allow you to connect a DS to uh, a computer. But I really, I would love that. I would love to play some shitty DS games, you know. I don't have many left over. Like I think I have DS, um, like Imagine Teacher. Was Pampy can't find a lobby. I wasn't gonna play Splatoon the entire stream, um, anyway. So it's not the mass. It's not the biggest deal in the world if lobbies are really bad. Um, we'll probably play a bit more of the plot. But to be honest, the plan was to spend about an hour on each game, um, and we were gonna do this, and then Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and then also America's Next Top Model, uh, which looks really shit. Um, and Party got it for me for my birthday, I think, this year, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. Um, so my plan would be to do a bit more of the plot and then switch to one of the other games. I wanted to do a longer stream today, actually, because because this is my last stream until like mid to late September, and I'm really gonna miss streaming. Um, but there's not like there won't be time. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Your rankings, Rhythm of War, Oathbreaker, Wall of Ascension, Words of Radiance, Hero of Ages, Bounds of Morning, Final Empire, Elantra, Shadows of Self, Allo of Law, Warbreaker. Yeah, that checks out. That's that's valid. If I had to do a full ranking, I honestly don't know. I loved Mistborn Era 1 so much. Like, a ridiculous amount. Um, Elantris I struggled with as I read, but I loved the magic system and I look back on it with such fondness. Like, I think I would rank Warbreaker above Elantris. But I would also rank Elantris above every Mistborn Era 2 book. Yeah. And I, and when it comes to Stormlight Archive, I've kind of just loved all of them. Like, I 
I wouldn't even be able to rank them because I just think they're all kind of great. Splatoon's excellent and underrated single player. Exactly, exactly. There's the plot. You could attempt to draw and don't know if my Wii U's charge though. Don't worry if not. Don't worry about it, Spark. It's okay. If there's no, like, um, lobbies for the PvP stuff, we can just do more of the plot. Um, like, uh, we had the, the three, like, lairs we had to go into, and I think we only did one. And I am feeling more comfortable with the controls now, so we might actually find that easier. Um... Elantris gets the benefit of being your first Anderson. Really? You read Elantris first? Hmm. It's not like Elantris is bad. Elantris I look back on really fondly. Um, and there were parts of it I loved. It's just that Elantris occasionally got a little hard to read. Like sometimes it would be like, oh, why are we on this character now? Ah, and I just got bored. Damn, we were so close. We had seven of us. Um, at least there's no hacker. Yeah, there was a hacker for a little bit. Um, they hacked a level so that the two of us could start a level just, just alone. And it was really weird. <laughs> it was really weird. What does Rot Y do? Recon? Hold on, what's this? Can I just go run around it? That's so cute. Oh wait, so this is the the map we were just on, right? Oh, I drowned. I drowned. I drowned in the water. I'm a squid and I drowned. Uh, yeah, I have been using the motion controls. I don't know how I feel about them really. Um. I find them a little clunky. Well, no, actually, clunky is not the right word. I think the motion controls are really smooth. They're good motion controls. I think I just personally am not the biggest fan of them. Like, they don't feel all that natural. This is way more fun in terms of PvP than, like... Oh, shit. How am I down here? Oh, God. If you have the roller and you get stuck here, you're just fucked, aren't you? <laughs> How do I get back up? How do I get back up? I guess I do this. <laughs> I'm just a sad little squid desperately- Oh, I did it! I did it! <laughs> we lived! Oh god, okay. You used to do trick shots with the sniper using motion controls, loved it. God, you must have been very comfortable with them to be able to do that. Aim up? You aim up. How can I aim up? I have the roller. You can't aim up, surely, right? 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 What's this way? Also, if I have to aim up, then I have to move my knee, because my knee is currently in control of my motion controls. What did they tell me this was? I've already forgotten. You play one-on-one -on -one battles against friend. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like, um, two-player on one console. Okay. Wait, why am I blue now? Suspicious. Oh, and the color of the shirt changes to match the hair. That's so cute. I love it. Motion controls are nice and comfy. They do feel really natural. Like, when you compare these motion controls to what the... We was going for. This is incredible. Like, this is such a step up. Um, and I honestly don't know how I feel about motion controls for the Switch. I feel like I found those very similar. Hair is most recent ink color. That's really cute. Good for them. Right. I am going to take a quick break to go get some, um, so go get some washing out of the laundry. No, go get some laundry out of the washing machine. There we go. Um, but I will be back. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry, Corvus. I'll be really quick. Like, I have to get the laundry out of the machine to let it dry uh, in here, but then I'll be right back. Um, until then, I'll even- I'll even try and let the motion control, like, the camera aim up a little bit so you can see. Oh, this is gonna be hard. 
See, that's good. No, I'm not gonna do that. I, I, if I do that, I balance the um, the Wii U, and it's just gonna look terrible. Courses here, run. Hello. <sighs> Roll around like Sonic at the Olympic Games. I think you mean like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Oh God, sorry, I just had the most terrifying thing. So you see how next to the the camera is this, this little character. When I was stood kind of far away, I thought that the camera ended like further and I was like, what the fuck is moving in my room? Why is there like a, a neon jacket moving in my room? That was terrifying. I never want to go through anything like that ever again. Also, I'm really jealous of my past self because I just, I left my room and I could smell the kitchen and it smelled so good. Like I cooked earlier, I cooked, um, I cooked rice, except I did fancy rice. And um, the premise of fancy rice is that you, uh, first of all, you cook garlic in, um, yeah, like you, you heat up some oil and then you put garlic, cumin and um, cinnamon, and then you cook that for a bit, um, which smells yummy all by itself. Um, and also we have fresh garlic, like in the house, rather than the uh, tin stuff I've been using. So it was fresh garlic, which is incredible and smells so good, and cumin and cinnamon. And then um, we added the rice. Uh, you add the rice, you add lemon juice, and you add salt. And it's the only, it's the only time in my life that I add salt to my cooking. The rest of the time I am, I am a stout salt um, aggressor for all the salt apologists out there that are like, oh, just put salt in your pasta water. No, how about you cope and seethe? How about you learn how to enjoy things the way that they were meant to be enjoyed, with their natural salts? Um, except, I don't know what the salt is adding to the rice. All I know is that it tastes really yummy and the salt is maybe involved. So fine. You salt apologists get a pass. One free pass. Um. God, hold on. Let me dip back into Twitch chat for a moment. Right, hello. I look very shiny. Oh, the person scared me again! God, I keep thinking there's like a neon... Ah! Your vibes are really good, Spark. 98%? Your vibes have been amazing recently. Four quotes away. Four quotes away. God, someone remind me when we're at 399. I need to remember that. Salt the water? I will not salt the water. How about you salt the water? How about you consume excess salt? You can't trick me that easily. I'll consume as much salt as I want, which is none. But it's really yummy. Like you just basically, you, you cook the rice as normal for 20 minutes um, in, in the delicious, uh, delicious yummy mixture. And it's really delicious and yummy. Um, it's a very yummy, uh, salty, lemony, spiced rice dish. Um, but yeah, my, my point is when I left this room and went into the kitchen, I could uh, I could smell I could smell the rice and I wanted to eat it again. The first time I made it, it was like a recipe I found on BBC Good Foods or something for um you you cook that on the side and you serve it with uh, chickpeas and like uh, sauteed courgette, which is very yummy. But I mean, the rice on its own is really good. Apologies for the fact that while I unpack my clothes, this is just straight up me talking about cooking. Like I have any idea what I'm going on about. But I don't know, it was just very good. 
And I like cooking. The disembodied voice that controls my streams loves cooking. And here's why you should too. Okay, that is everything in the basket. Now we can go back to playing a video game. Okay. Neon jacket moving in my room is my favorite anime. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing joke. 10 out of 10. So bingus cam, that's bingus. You have bingus. You can have a little bingus as a treat. I think I broke the horse. Chicken noises in the background. That must have been um Twilight Princess, but still deeply uh, confusing. Um, I'll consume as much salt as I want, which is none. I'm not very salty. Makes change to hydrate. It does, although I probably should hydrate anyway. Oh God, that was two nine eight. We're getting so close. I need to. I need to remember what I have to say. God, I'm sweating. I need to remember my lines. Um, amazing. Okay, that's in my head. That's in my head. We don't need to rush it, but folks. We got this. There'll be time for our quotes. We'll get there eventually. The quotes will. Oh shit. Audio. The the quotes will come to us when they are ripened by the sun of our of our what it, what did I just do? Oh damn. Do you think he sees me? I think he sees me. Okay, down we go. Down the hatch. Video lines. Oh, yeah, I did see them. I did see them. Sorry I didn't acknowledge them. I appreciate them. I've already uh, edited them into the video and they're very good. I really struggled. I'm making um like an intro video for the society that I'm chair of. Um Mellow Chair Real and I recorded my lines today. <laughs> and and I found it really hard. It was one of those times when like I stream. I spend so much time visually looking at the camera, you know? Like, I spend so much time visible and camera and yet something about recording lines is, like, really disturbingly difficult. And I, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. Like, I was recording and then checking how it had gone, and I was like, why do my eyes look like that? Why, when I talk, does one of my eyes kind of close? And the other one just stays entirely still. And that's the kind of thing you shouldn't ask yourself questions about. Oh my goodness. 299 quotes. <laughs> Makes you wonder how I can say so many things. Makes you wonder how I can say so many things. There we go. That was the line. I said the line. I did it. You do the same. I just... I found it so hard, but it feels so weird that I found it so hard. Cause it's not as if I, it's not as if I'm not used to seeing myself speak and say lines, you know? I'm very used to that, clearly. Clearly I say many things. Clearly that's my whole bit. Makes you wonder how I could say so many things, but I sure am saying them. And saying them constantly. Okay, this is more fun now that I'm with the controls. That's kind of fun. Ooh. Okay, we did it. Okay. God, quote 300. Absolutely wild. When I added the quote system, I did not uh, expect there to be that many, you know? I never expected us to make this many quotes. I don't know what I expected, to be fair. Like, did I expect that we'd all get bored of the quote system? We don't get bored of things. I don't get bored of things anyway. I don't know about the rest of you. I only get bored of things that I'm bad at, obviously. Oh, what the hell is that? You can't damage them? They just clean up my paint? That's like really stinky. Do they know how stinky that is and how that makes me feel on the inside? 
I never expect us to have as many coins. That's uh, that's also an equally good 301, you know? We've all been there. We've all wondered how I have so many quotes. In the dead of the night, we've thought to ourselves, what the fuck is that in the sky? Jesus. <laughs> Hold on, what the fuck? Are we in like a dome or something? What is going on? It's the Tokyo Shia Dome. Is that even a dome? That might just be a thing from Detective Conan. Can you eat the cat? I would love to. What are we playing? I have no idea. Don't know about the rest of you. Okay, we can't kill them. What's the plan here? Ah! They don't hurt us on the plus side. Ah! Ugh, I don't like how they explode like, like zits. Okay. Do I need the, suit the suitcase? The briefcase? In the dead of the night, I think to myself, what is that in the sky? Stop it! This, this is too many quotes! We're gonna outquote the sun! Oh, armor? Hell yeah! I've always wanted to have an arm! Oh wait, we have the paint thingies. Yes! I love the paint thingies! Paint thingies make me happy! Why would I need to ascend more quickly? I'm going as slow as I need. You don't know where I've been. <laughs> you don't know how long it takes me to do things, game. God. Has anyone seen... So I say has anyone seen, but the answer better be yes. Oh god, I panicked and I used gyro controls too much. Um, there's a, there's a TikTok where someone... It's like a duet. Someone says something along the lines of like... Uh, you can make chocolate ice cream with this one plant that you have in your garden. And then it cuts to someone being like, You don't know if I have a garden. You don't even know if I like ice cream. You don't know what trees I have. Um, and I'm, I'm misquoting it, but it's a very good line. Ah. Like, it's very good. The delivery is purely excellent. You've seen that? It's really good, isn't it? It's just the way they're like, you don't even know if I like ice cream. And damn, they're right. I have no idea if they like ice cream. I'm just making guesses. I want my points. I want my points so badly. It's a really good TikTok. You're missing out. Towards adding quotes and non mellow things. I watch now and you have to remind yourself that's not how it works. It is how it works. That's what- that's how it works. Thing happen. Quote time. Wait, that's weird. At least I have a checkpoint. Is this where I came from? No. Final checkpoint? What is this? Oh, that's cool. This is fun. Okay, that's enjoyable. Okay, and I'm gonna have to make enough ink that I can climb up, aren't I? That's as low as the ink goes. So I'll just paint it to the full. Right, okay. Ooh, let's hope there's no fall damage. Okay, up we go. Oh, it's easier if you tilt upwards. Shut up. There we go. You've got to send more quickly as a thing. I um, also forgot it was a thing, but simply because I don't need it. I'm ascending quickly enough. In fact, I could ascend more slowly. I would comfortably ascend slower. Okay. Right, we have one more. It's not that one because that's a kettle we can see. This kettle? Why is it kettles? It makes no sense. Right, let's accept this mission. We'll do this one. And then I think we'll switch to a different game. Um, because otherwise, how will we... Ah! Oh my goodness. 
This one's interesting. Ah! While swimming, press X to... I know, you told me this in the tutorial game. Game, we did a whole tutorial. Do the boss, there's a boss? Okay. Fuck. Shit. Okay, that's fine, because we can just get back up. Everything's okay. I do see what you mean with the squid talk voices. They are, they are very much got a very specific kind of voice, don't they? Oh wait, I can't go up there. I can kill that thing though. I think anyway. Will you die already? I'm gonna throw a bomb at you, you're getting on my nerves. Okay, I think I might be getting on its nerves as well. So I will paint my way back. Wait, how do I get back up? Wait, do I just need to... Okay. Well, that worked, but it absolutely should not have. That worked by sheer happenstance. Yeah, I had no idea there were boss fights. I'll absolutely do a boss fight um, if we get to it. R to activate them. Oh, damn! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So you just ride the ink up. This is kind of like a tutorial area then, isn't it? Even though the game gives you a tutorial when you start, this is kind of like the section for learning. A squids when they talk be like maybe the real squid game is the talking squids we made along the way okay I have a feeling we need to jump onto that and then paint over there okay another checkpoint a can of something press R to equip it then open fire with ZR Um, oh my god, that's kind of fun. I think I died, but it was still fun. What does it want me to do then? I'll coat this area first, so I know that I'm safe. Okay. I kind of wish there was a lock on. Yeah, music in this game does absolutely slap. Um, I- I can see that. Ah! You really can't take a hit though, can you? Okay. Okay. The music really does slap. Sorry, I'm like still processing how slapping the music is. Okay. Okay. They escaped the bombs, that's good. Ah! They have their own bombs, that's less good. Okay. Wait till you meet the in-universe singing idols group? What? There's an octocopter? There's a what? Head for that in advance. That's good. Okay, well I guess down I go. Okay. Is that not what the octocopter is then? What's the octocopter? Is it this building? Wait. I think they might be the ones that require the blow up. No, they don't. 
Oh, that was bad. It moves down though, right? Oh no, I can climb up it. Wow, wow. Piss piss. That was a wow, wow, piss piss moment. Truly. Okay, how many areas are there in this game? Out of curiosity. <laughs> okay. Ah! I, feel, I keep forgetting what the jump button is. Um, it shouldn't be that complicated, but it is for me. Okay. These things are cool. I like the ink thing very much. There's at least five in Splat 2. Oh, okay. I'm guessing the areas get longer as well. No, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Mistakes were made. You know, I've, I've heard before that the music in this game was really good. Okay. Oh god, he drops bombs. You're not supposed to drop bombs, sir. How do I deal with you? Ah, shit. Okay. Do I just kill? Kill? Okay, that wasn't too terrible. Each of the three games have a, a funky band idol celebrity group. That's so cute. These games, it's so wild that I just absolutely had no idea they existed for so long. Like it wasn't really until the Splatoon, shit, the Splatoon 3 announcement that I even really knew what, what this was. Um, oh God, the way it's moving. Stop it, stop moving. Game, please, game. Okay, please, I'm begging you. Oh my god, you have to spam X as you jump up or you just drop. Okay. At least this one seems to move entirely still. Jesus. Okay, that's the first area done though. <sighs> Do they, um... Band idol celebrity groups have their own music then. Is that how the game works? Because that's kind of fun. That's kind of spicy. Okay, we did it. And now the big kettle is open. The zapfish power is open at the boss kettle. <laughs> is it literally called the boss kettle? That's so cute. Well, in I go, I guess boss fight? Is a boss fight like a level with a boss at the end or just the boss? Oh, I see. This is just the boss. Okay. Okay. Splatoon series is so excellent. I'm glad you're getting experience with it. Yeah, I can't believe it completely passed me by. I guess if Splatoon 1 was for the Wii U is this thing? Is this like a puzzle bass? Oh, I don't know what the plan is here. Oh my god. Okay, so they are more Zelda style, working out what I need to do. Do I need to do damage to its legs? Oh my god. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Wait, surely I climb up it, right? 
Shit, okay, okay. I think I figured it out. I climb. I climb up the guy. Wait, shit, 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 shit! No, fuck! Look at its silly arm legs. They're so silly! So silly and goofy! Okay. I was right! I was right! Look how silly the bosses are. This is just a gigantic octopus in a box. I do not like that. I'm glad it's a checkpoint though, because, uh, yikes. Wait. Oh shit, not all of it is... Shit, not all of it is, is green anymore. That's not good. I need all of it to be green. Green, good color. Purple, scary. Okay. I could have gotten to it there. And I just simply didn't. Shit. Okay, both sides are green now. Green was your favourite colour for the longest time, now it's blue. Blue- they're both solid colours. They're both excellent colours. Shit, 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 let me up! Let me up! Let me up! <laughs> Bastard game! Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. And it's a Nintendo boss, so there's three stages. Excellent. <sighs> that like a Danganronpa execution? What the fuck? That looks difficult. It used to be a lime green stand, now you're more for dark greens and purples. I'm a... I think I'm a big fan of yellow. I say I think because I... I truly do not know. I don't know if I even have a favourite colour. I've got colours that I like things being, but like... Really, I'll... I'll I will enjoy... Uh, I will enjoy any colour scheme, as long as it is the colour scheme for me. Shit. God. Oh my god! No! Wait, where was my checkpoint? I have three lives? Oh, this sucks. Is it supposed to be hard? Did I do it? I don't think you need to ink the floor. Oh, the ink is literally just so that I can move around quicker. Um, because otherwise I'm stuck at like a walking pace. <laughs> I'm stuck at just like a steady, slow little amble. Like this is so much more fun to be able to slip slide along. I killed a man. Was that a man, Corvus? Or was it an octopus in a box? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, I think those are two different things. Blue Tomb bosses get pretty tough, like the final boss was pretty rough. Yeah, that was, um, that was awkward and difficult. Um, fun though. I just think they even have great Octo weapons on their side. At any rate, excellent work, Agent 3. Keep it up, it's still a long road to the great Zapfish. It's good that we're doing this. It's good that someone is doing this. The purple pink blood is really not helping you think that it's not just Dangan Romper. It's got that aesthetic. Okay. Cute. So I get research notes from that. And I've plugged up the kettle. Inkling versus Octoling War. Yeah. Who's in the right? I truly do not know. Oh, it's one of these things. I want to go along it. Okay, so that's the new area, that's cool. Oh no, no, don't say it, Corvus. Corvus, no. It's octopus versus uh, little, little squids. Look at their little faces, look how goofy and silly they are. Look, 
Look how silly and goofy this little character is. Look at their fun little shoes. Look at them go! Oh, okay, so that area has six zapfish. This one had three in a boss, that one has six. I see. Look at us going around. Mollusk raised wall. Is it is it more like breeds of mollusk? Is that how mollusk work? Is it breeds or is it genres? Mollusk genre war. Right, and with that, I think that's uh, all we're going to play of Splatoon for today. Where's Octo Valley? Sorry, I've clicked on the thing on the- Oh, okay, okay. So that's Octo Valley. Is it a variety stream? It is, it is. It's a, um... So this is the last stream that I can do for a long time. Um, because I go on holiday this Saturday. And I'm... Well, I'm on holiday this Saturday until next Thursday. Sorry. I'm on holiday this Saturday until next Sunday. And then the Monday after, so the day after, I'm on holiday for another five days. Uh, and then I'm at a friend's wedding at the weekend, which means that I am not back and able to stream until, um, until Monday the 19th, which is quite a way away, actually. It's, I think it's the longest break, like, gap between streams that I will have had since starting streaming. Where the holiday? Uh, somewhere in Italy. I will not say where. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's the longest holiday I've had in a while as well. Like, um, most of my holidays are like a couple day long city breaks. And this is not that. Um, yeah, it's a really long holiday. Italy sounds fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I was working out the stuff I have to pack today. Because obviously, it's kind of a weird three weeks where I have the first holiday leading into the second and the third. So I, I'm sort of having to plan what I need to pack for all three. Um, which is a little confusing. New York with your mum's is booked again. Trash, that's amazing news. When are you heading over? Like, approximately. You know, don't, don't give any, like, identifiable dates, but... Out of curiosity. That's really good. I'm really happy. God. <laughs> COVID cancelled holidays really are making a comeback uh, now, right? When it'll be cold. Okay. Cold New York sounds delightful. You can have pizza on the road. And, like, hot drinks. Also, every cool, fun food place that exists in the world is in New York. If I've learned anything from Snapchat. Gonna go ice skating in Central Park. Are we first time ice skating? Really? Your first time? I mean, what a what a way to uh, have your first ice skating. Rather than just like a weird UK little ice rink. Um, where, where everyone's just like flailing around. Like an actual fun, aesthetically cool uh, ice skating place. Oh, <laughs> to eat pizza off of a New York City road. Oh, to eat pizza off of the ground. Oh, to sit with the rats and consume the pizza that has fallen upon the floor. Did I change the... Yeah, I did have the stream category set to Splatoon. Right. Let's go into um, this one for a little while so I can close the game. And we can open up something new. You just had... <laughs> you never had anyone to go to. That's uh, <laughs> a shame. Yeah, ice skating's uh, one of those ones where, like... I don't know. I like ice skating. Um, I fall down a lot, I'm not very good at it, but I'm I'm also in a, like, they're always, the only ice skating places available to me have always been really far away, and, like, my only available option of who to take with me felt like it was my mum, and she's great, and she's lovely, and she has ice skated with me, but, like, she's, she's got arthritis, and she's got a really fucked up spine, <laughs> like, like, her spine is fucked up, I can tell you that, um, and I am amazed by her bravery to ice skate when I honestly think if she fell down, she would crumble. <laughs> Which I say with love. Mother, if you're here and you're listening, I love you so much. And I still think we should ice skate at some point. Um, but you're, I, I am terrified of falling down. If I fell down on the ice, I feel like I would die. And like, so far, my bones are, are, are okay. We should go ice skating. I want to go ice skating. I want to ice skate most of the time, frankly. 
when I'm um, back from holiday and... Because the thing about ice skating is that you are conscious... Well, I am anyway, as a person that's not good at it. I am conscious when I go ice skating that if I do fall, there is the genuine possibility that it could be an injury that I then need weeks to recover from. So it's like, I can't just go ice skating tomorrow because if I fall over and snap my wrist, you know, it will heal, but then I can't go on holiday. Um, scare mazes. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> yes, please. You have no idea. Y yes, please. I would love to. I would love to. I will be, uh, yeah, I can be home anytime around Halloween. I can achieve that. I can do that. I can find a way. Bones mellow. That's what they call me. That's what they've always called me. Uh, and you know why they say it? It's because I don't have any bones. Right then. I think. I think we'll do this one next. Okay. Uh, there's no games in here, right? I'll press the eject button. Oh my goodness! Twilight Princess is in here. Twilight Princess. How long have you been hiding in that box? I guess we found the, the Twilight Princess, guys. It wasn't Midna. Wait. Wait, what? Um. Trash, can you explain why I, I just opened the Twilight Princess box? Having gotten out the Twilight Princess disc from the Wii U. And inside is, is Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. They released Breath of the Wild for the Wii U? What? It's okay, I, I have a feeling... Now I think about it, I have a feeling that when I, um... When you gave me the Wii U, it had Breath of the Wild in it. So I just transferred it between boxes, like... I have a feeling that's what happened. Breath of the Wild was on the Wii U? No way. Nor. That's simply impossible. It was meant to be a Wii U release, but then they took too long and it came out on both? What? That's crazy. Oh no. I need a Wii remote and a sensor bar to use the Wii menu. Shit. So... I didn't anticipate... I heard that you could play Wii games on the Wii U. So I didn't realize that you would need Wii stuff. I'm gonna see if I can get away with it having not done that. Oh shit. Shit. Do I not have one for Ben 10? I do, but I left it at home. Wait. Wait, let me check the Wii U box. Wait, hold on, did you? No, you didn't. That's okay, I, d I didn't expect one. Um, if one had been hiding in that box the entire time, I'd have been very surprised. Um, yeah, no, I didn't because my original plan was that when I, when I came back to uni from home, I was gonna bring the Wii with me, um, but then, um, I found out that you could do like Wii U crossplay, so I was just like, "Oh, that's fine then. I, I already have the Wii U at the flat. That's amazing. So then I can just play Twilight Princess and other stuff." Whoops. Slay. Hello, Aria. Take back the slay flop. No. Yeah, it's it's a small flop. It's a little flop. It's okay. Um, it's fine. <laughs> you first played Breath of the Wild on the Wii U. That blows my mind. I had no idea. Breath of the Wild feels like one of just like the the pivotal founding Wii ga uh, Switch games that I had no idea that it had come out on the Wii U as well. Um, but yeah, no, I left the, the controllers for Ben 10 and stuff just at home. Play your Wii Breath of the Wild file for me. Oh God, I can do that if you want. Or technically I could start a new Breath of the Wild game um, on, the, on the Wii U. <laughs> It just feels wrong. Oh, it's fine. It's okay, because I should have checked this before I decided to do a Wii U game stream. But it does mean, um, unfortunately, no Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games today, and also no America's Next Top Model. Um, 
in which you can explore the huge 3D world, which includes a mansion, cityscape, and five-star hotel. So, so far what I'm learning is that this is an open world game. Um, choose from four different models, 30 different styles, including vintage, romantic, and edgy. So it has a fully customizable character menu. Uh, choose your attitude, fierce or friendly, it's up to you. Amazing. The AI must be incredible if the characters also have personalities. Um, and in the fashion business, you will only succeed if you know how to pose. Oh, okay, so it's actually like a really interesting, hard-cut look at the fashion industry, um, as it was in 2010 when the game came out. Um, incredible. It's rated 7, and it also has the little symbol on it for violence. <laughs> like, like, what violence is there gonna be in my, in my next top model game? I don't understand. Oh my god. We'll never be America's next top model. Fuck! We had this one chance and we've squandered it. Can I at least like Win Waker in the Wii U? It's really okay. It's not your fault. Like I should have I should have guessed that like I I should have connected the dots that even if you can play Wii games on the Wii U, why would you be able to use like a whole new set of controls, you know? Want to reintroduce? Want to introduce Auntie Mello when you return from your break? I will. I will never introduce Auntie Mello. Auntie Mello is Dark Side Mello, and she will not. She will not appear this day. She's gone. Gone and taken. Gone and away. Gone with the wind. You confuse where your Wii remotes would be now. They're. They're not in the bag. Um, and they're not in the box for the Wii U either. And I'm pretty confident that I would have noticed. Um, so God knows. God knows. Where do Wii remotes go, right? Like, where do Wiis go? Where do the, the where does the Wii console go? I learned today that the Wii originally was like, like the code name for it was Project Dolphin. No, it wasn't. It was Project Revolution, right? Which is so much cooler than the Wii. But I also see why it would have maybe not been marketed as well. Like, buy your buy your child, have have a Wii for your family this this Christmas season in two thousand and seven. Um, and alternatively, it's like buy Project Revolution. Ah, yeah. Can I say Wii in a French accent? Uh, can I say Wii? Uh, Wii. Wii. This seems rude. This seems. <laughs> I did GCSE French. I was pretty okay at it actually. I had a pretty solid French accent when speaking French back in the day, but now I know none of it. I actually have. Hang on. My um. So there's a there's a website called Memrise, uh, which is a really good. Well, it, it used to be. It's not as good anymore actually. It was a really good language learning website. Um, and I used to use it to learn GCSE French. Um, and you can still see on my memorized profile, which I will not be sharing, you can see that I have like a, there used to be a level system. I'm not sure if they still do it, but I have, oh, where is it? Like my streaks. Because you can see that for that one um, French course I did, my best ever streak was something ridiculous, like... How do I see my streak? God, this used to be such a good website and now I just don't know how it works. Oh, damn. Um... But yeah, like, my, my point is that when you can see my streak, um, I, I was learning 25 French words a day. No, it wouldn't have been 20. Well, honestly, it could have been. I was learning, like, what are the... I was learning 15. It must have been 15. No, okay, okay, wow. Wow, wow. I was learning five French words a day, every day, for over 100 days. And towards the end, like, words would come up in French class... Like, like for the last six months of my, my final year of French GCSE, like words would come up and I'd just, I'd just be like, oh yeah, I know what that is. I could not make sentences. I was 
awful at making sentences. Like, I couldn't ever speak French. I couldn't even read French. Like, my comprehension of French was... It was purely based on context clues of the individual words. I was awful at, like, verb conjugations. I had no idea. I was making guesses because I knew... I knew just so many words out of context of anything. Um, GameCube was Dolphin. Yeah, yeah. I was, um... So it's because I, I obviously was playing Resident Evil 1. Um, and I was playing it really slowly and I was really struggling to get through it. And I really like the vibes of the game and the story, but I was just struggling to play it. So I watched, um, of all people, I watched the Game Grumps playthrough of that game. Because it's the only one I could find from like a recognisable gaming channel um, of that game. Um, and they like... It was such it was it was it was from 2016 and it's this really weird look at like what gaming playthroughs used to look like in 2016 because if I was going to watch like a gaming playthrough now I'd probably find I would find specifically Penny Parker playing something or Artie game and I would find like their stream vods so I would find hour long like hours of them playing this game in full um and talking about the game and you know chatting about other things something like that but the game grumps one is like a series of 10 to 15 minute videos where every single video has the Game Grumps intro and at the end of every segment they acknowledge that the segment is over and they they keep going and I just it feels really unnatural like it feels like a really unnatural way to present a game because I was I was just trying to watch it in the background so I could experience Resident Evil the one the way that a sad little coward like me can and I had to keep tabbing over to open the new video and it was a nightmare and there was ads but they they were talking about like old names for the Wii and the GameCube uh, which was fun oh god trash out to use mobile momentarily oh the horror the nightmare Use Quizlet for your special GCSE A level. I can never get into Quizlet. Memorize used to be really good because their whole thing used to be learning via like mnemonics. So you'd learn things and it would give you like a, a way to remember it that wasn't just have you tried learning it? And it used to be really good, but they've sort of got rid of it. How oh, shit do you Duolingo looks? What does Duolingo look like now? I've not used Duolingo in ages. Ugh. I'd have to log in to properly see, but already I don't really like the fonts. I should get back into Duolingo. <laughs> Me and my family are supposed to be going to Japan next year, and, like, we, we're fucked. None of us know anything. You simply got an F. Exactly, because the only way to get a good grade in French GCSE is to learn every word, but never learn how to conjugate verbs. I bet you tried to actually conjugate verbs. No, that's your first mistake. You don't need to learn how sentences work or how to understand spoken French. You simply just need to be able to pick out words and make guesses based on those words and you do great. It's easy. New Game Grumps episodes are 20 plus minutes now. Used to be shorter to combat the algorithm. Yeah, fucking algorithm. I hate the algorithm. It just feels so, so weird. Like, that was my attention span though. Like I would watch 10 minute videos that were like fast paced. So I'd been about 15 then and I, I would watch, and that's what I would watch. Like I really didn't watch long form videos until later. Um, you really enjoyed watching the Danganronpa 1 and 2 playthroughs. Spoiler, Aaron hates them and Dan loves them. I do like that vibe. I like the vibes they have. The 2016 playthrough of Resident Evil 1 occasionally has something in it where I'm like, God, that's a 2016 joke that makes me feel yucky but like nothing nothing terrible um but they generally have really nice vibes um and i've never really engaged with game grumps but the resident evil one playthrough was really fun and i and i could see how one of them enjoying a thing and the other one not enjoying a thing could lead to some interesting dynamics you love good hour-long episodes exactly that's what it should be like over to let's plays are bad like i kind of appreciate when someone cuts out like particularly in a game like resident evil 
if you die and your last save which it was ages ago and you have to repeat it, I do kind of appreciate a playthrough edit that like cuts out that repeat. But I don't, I don't just want like 10 minute segments for no reason, you know? There's no reason that those videos shouldn't just be like one two hour playthrough or something. Symbolism's Hollow Knight playthrough is perfect. It is. Those are long episodes, and but they're very focused on the game. It's delightful. Um, only plays are the only Let's Plays that you really consistently watch nowadays. What are they like? Are they longer for? Or are they like the 10 minute classic? Because I can't do the 10 minute classic anymore. That's what I used to do. Like back when I am, um, back when I was like 14 and I tried to do YouTube. And I, I had a, I had a channel called like Geeky Gaming or something like that was my original YouTube vibe, and I would play The Sims, and I would play Five Nights at Freddy's, and I think that was all. I think I dipped into Minecraft one time. Actually, I did. I dipped into Minecraft, and I was doing like um, team games in a server, uh, but I like, I typed in the Minecraft chat to like share my YouTube channel to be like. I'm doing a video guys, you're all gonna be in my video. Except as I was typing, I, one of the letters I used was the letter I used as like the hotkey to begin and end recording. So I ended the recording like two minutes in and just didn't even notice. So I was great. Um, but yeah, like all of my videos back then were 10 minutes. And I remember actively like setting up a timer so I was conscious of when 10 minutes was over. So that was just how long a video should be. I'm done now. Um, they've changed the whole layout and how levels work, so current users are just at different places. That's so weird! Do a screenshot in here. Let me have a look. Oh, I don't like that! So it's like, like a path? Like treasure and stuff? Learning languages shouldn't be a video game. I'm sorry. I get that it should be engaging, but you don't need to turn it into, like, Candy Crush? Candy Crush is the one that has, like, levels and stuff, right? God, I feel like I don't understand things. They're usually 20 plus minutes, sometimes 40, depending on the game. See, I'm comfortable with that. Sometimes I, I get not wanting to watch, like, a big playthrough. But also, I can absolutely watch a really long form video, as long as I, like, add it to my watch later and remember where I was. Um, because the appeal of, like, 20 minute, 40, that kind of video is that you can sit down, watch a part, and then watch more parts later. Or it also means that you can put out more videos whilst with less content hours put in, I suppose. But I also really just enjoy rewatching a VOD where I can just pause it when I need to be done. Um, but it also means that I just, there is no element of waiting for a natural stopping point anymore when it comes to pausing stuff. Like I just pause it when I'm done for now, come back later and forget what the past two minutes were. I used to watch a lot of Yogg's cast. I did not get into Yogg's cast, unfortunately. I should have, but I got into like the other branch of Minecraft YouTubers of the early 2010s, like Sky Does Minecraft and um, ASF Jerome and Canadian Bacon. That, is that even? Did I just make that up? No, at least two of those are real. They made it like Candy Crush, yeah. You just watch compilations of best bits from the six worth of videos out there. There's a lot. Best bits are good. I am... Um, so, uh, Markiplier and... I, oh god, I've already forgotten who... Uh, I want to say Crank. That's not right. The, the Unasanas YouTube series that was lasted for a year and then the YouTube channel deleted and it was a whole, it was a whole thing. Um, I didn't get into that at the time because I've never really been... Like, I've never really watched the people involved. Um, but a little while back, YouTube, like, suggested a best of Unasanas clips video. And I had ten minutes and I watched it. And it was really fun. Like, really fun. <laughs> but obviously the whole bit of that channel was that it's gone now. So the only way you can engage with it is by sort of not doing what is wanted, I guess, in watching, like, clip best of moments or, or re-uploads, but it was really enjoyable. But the, the best of clips from Unasanas are really enjoyable. Um, and there's quite a few of those. Mark and Ethan, Mark and Ethan, there we go. Their names are in my head somewhere. You watch some parts, yeah. And maybe the videos as they were coming out, maybe 
I don't know, maybe I personally enjoy it more of more as like a best of watching like best clips. But it was good. It was just a three hour Genshi video, she played some games, it was relaxing. And because the YouTuber is good, yeah, that's valid. I um I mainly watch oh, recently I've mainly been watching Resident Evil 1 playthrough. Because I was originally watching the Snapcube Penny Parker playthrough of Resident Evil 1. Except she did that a couple years ago. And she she only got a little bit further than me. Which made me really happy actually. But it's a shame because I like I preferred the Penny Parker playthrough of Resident Evil 1 over the Game Grumps playthrough. Just because um, Game Grumps were really good at that game. But also... Whoever it was that was playing it out of, out of the two of them, I think it was Aaron, knew the game really well. So they didn't ever really explore. They kind of just played it as if they were fulfilling a walkthrough. So even though the, their like commentary was interesting, it was never really about the game. Or like asking questions about the game, which is fine. But I, I just, it just makes me wish that Penny Parker did more of that playthrough because I would love I would watch so many hours of Penny Parker playing Resident <laughs> Evil games. So many. Um, you've watched some Realism Park builds in Planet Coaster recently because you've had a great channel for it. Planet Coaster must be fun to watch YouTube videos for. In Planet Coaster, can you like, is there a function for like first person views of the of the coasters that people make? Um, most of the good Planet Coaster creators upload very inconsistently. But this one is weekly uploads with multiple completed parks to watch back through. That's lovely! Okay, so the best uh, content creators are just a bit more, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say flaky, but that's not right. They're not flaky, they're just less consistent. That's great. And you can see the first person coaster, that's great. I love the, um, the arcade, like, arcade... ...machines where you, you sit in a chair and it like plays like a fake roller coaster for you. <laughs> Those are good. Those are really good. They're just like a little mini experience you get to have. They like blast air in your face and the chair moves. Oh, incredible. Very good. Oh, I went through a phase of watching, um, what's the YouTube channel called? Speaking of long form videos, um, I think it was def Defunct Land? I watched a lot of Defunct Land a little while back because I was just binging what episodes they had. Um, like the Garfield one and the Fast Pass. Because I, even though I love video essays, I never got around to watching the Fast Pass one, but I did eventually. Oh, and I didn't see, uh, Spock said that you love multiple hour long Game Grumps compilations of Mario games. <laughs> Wait, what? What is that? When do they do that? If I just if I just look up Game Grumps Mario compilation, am I gonna get something out of that? Oh my god. Best of Game Grumps 3D Mario games mega compilation. This one's six hours and fifty minutes. Is this what you mean? Spark, because that's long. That is a long video. Best content creators don't have YouTube as their job, uh, so it'll just be when they have free time between their life they'll post stuff, yeah. That, yeah. I don't know. I was gonna say, I don't know how much of, like, a, a crowd there is online for, like, uh, Planet Coaster content creators. So if you're a person that really likes Planet Coaster and is really good at it and has, like, a fan base that really enjoys it, it's a shame because I don't know if the way that YouTube is, that fan base is enough to fuel it as, like, an actual long-term, or at least, um... A hobby actually worth putting more more time into. Like a hobby that gives you anything to be able to put more time into it. Are you not playing another game? Well, I was going to, but now that Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games is out of my hands, um, I don't know what I'm gonna play. I suppose I need to play something that I have on my computer. But I also was more in like a... I was in more of a mood to play something sort of low stakes and silly. Hence Splatoon and Mario and um, America's Next Top Model. Like I don't know if I have the energy to play a game that requires me to take it seriously. 
Um, at the very least, you've reminded me that I should probably change the category to just chatting. Um, just so it's actually accurate. There we go. You just love Theme Park YouTube. Theme Park YouTube is good. I really enjoyed the Defunct Land videos that I watched. That made me feel um, very on board with uh, that kind of thing. I'm going to close down the Wii U as well. <sighs> Mario Galaxy 1 and Mario Maker 1 were pinnacle. They were so funny. I only played Galaxy 1 myself. But I, I know you mean the, the Game Grumps playthroughs. It's such a long playthrough. It's like a three hour video of their best of moments from Super Mario 64. You know what, I might watch that. That's got three million views. Because I, I just like long videos. Long videos to eat lunch to. <laughs> um, one of your favorite YouTubers is Silverit, who does Planet Coaster and City Skylines. And he's currently uh, in a frequent uploads phase, posted four videos in two months. <laughs> Four videos in two months is frequent? Yikes. Okay, so the Planet Coaster City si Skyline, like, sandbox building complex, complex build sim community must be starving. You've been watching Silverette since you were 13, he's so fun. It's fun to have YouTubers and content creators that you've been following for a really long time. I don't really have many that, um, that I've been follow following for that long and actually have been making things still. Like, one of my favorite, um, some of my favorite YouTubers are just gone now. <laughs> like, I really loved, um, I really loved, ah, uh, SourceFed. SourceFed were really good. SourceFed and then the Steven Suptic channel, um, Show Pine 7. I adored so much and they're just gone now the nature stuff and coast building but not really the buildings and architecture stuff okay so you're you're more of a planet coaster the theme park outdoor that kind of vibe um you feel you get more enjoyment for watching people who are good at it play it than i would actually play that's how i feel about resident evil really resident evil one anyway like more enjoyment watching someone else's thought process and the way that they respond to it and the things that that makes them think of and the way that they choose to do things like that's more enjoyable to me um you need to get back into planet coast you spent 60 hours in it it's fun i've never played it i i feel like i have a memory of it being on someone's like i feel like oh i just feel like i was at someone's house when i was younger and they had it on like the tv i i don't know it's a foggy memory but that's all I've engaged with it. Chani you've been watching recently for Planet Coaster is Nerd Chat Show, he's very fun. So that's the, the frequent uploader and the actual frequent uploader, not the um, two month hiatus followed by four videos frequent uploader. Um. Oh no. Snap, Penny Parker did another Wobble Dogs video. Now I have to save that to watch later and watch that later, no. There's too many things to watch later. That's simply too Hi. many. Damn. Okay, so these are like long videos as well. These are like 30 minutes. Realistic B&M wing coaster, that's cool. These look really cool actually. Damn. Three days ago, 10 days ago, two weeks ago, this is so many. Um, I feel like you need to, you need to inspire to actually play it, which is hard to come by now that you finished a major park on stream. Oh damn, you finished a major park? Like you finished an entire theme park in the game? That must take a while actually now I think about it, like, I imagine if you build an entire park and you want it to be lovely and like, I don't know, something you're really, I don't know, I suppose it depends how you play it, because I'm aware that some people play games like that to just build weird shit and just build a feral theme park where like some coasters will just kill you that kind of thing but i also imagine that lots of people play it quite like i don't know like a lot of people play the sims like trying to build a building that they really like that they're proud of that kind of vibe okay what could we play what do i have installed 
Um, <laughs> I have Civ 6. We are not playing Civilization 6. We're not doing it. We could play Warhammer 2. <laughs> Who wants to play Warhammer 2? <laughs> That's not a thinky game. We just have to be... We, we just be, be dinosaurs. And we could fight the Dark Elves. And we could be dinosaurs. We can control a carnosaur army, or we can throw rocks on our enemies, and it will be so fun. Um, you're uh, very vested in epic theme parks at all times. That's fair. That's fair. You're you're a theme parks nerd. That's your that's your niche of nerdery. Well, one of your niches. Everyone has many niches of nerdery. We we must all nerd out. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I need to hear this one. Bully ba bully wabba deba dooly. Ha ha. Scrum diddly wombomo. That sounds like Sims gibberish to me. Get out of here with your Sims gibberish. Get out of here. Get out of here with your Sims gibberish. Scrum bola wee wah. Hibbity bobadoo. Hibbity bib bob. Squirrel wah. That's what I think about that, Corvus. I'm not as good as made up languages as you, but I tried my best. I tried my best. Um, Forest Space Coast Park, which is basically what you like doing, but you don't want to make something too similar now. Okay, so you've basically, you've done the thing you like, you've finished it, and you want to put it aside for a bit. It actually makes a lot of sense to see, like, Planet Coaster Spark. Spark showed me once, um, like a really, like, um, Minecraft maps that, uh, he made with, like, friends. And I, I never got into building in Minecraft to that scale, but they were wild. They were like big, like maps, um, and some on his own as well. Uh, for your love of actual theme parks, you find you have to find creators to focus on realism to enjoy it. Because if not, you sort of sat there like that's not right. Because this, yeah, like you know too much. <laughs> you you have the knowledge to be able to be like that's stupid. That wouldn't happen. That's dumb. Check channel theme park worldwide to see how long their videos are. They make the best theme park vlog. Oh, they make vlogs? Like, vlogs of going round theme parks? That's kind of lovely. Aww. Like 30 minute videos? Grand Pier? Western Supermare? Weymouth Attractions vlog? Sea Life Weymouth? This is very cute. Waterworld? Stoke on Trent? Drayton Manor? Barry Island? Barry Island? As in in Wales? I'm watching that one. I'm watching that one. Please say it's Barry Island. As in in Wales. <laughs> Please. They filmed Gavin and Stacey there. Classic TV show. Amazing. Anyway, Place on Planet Coaster, you always make sure to include like staff areas and stuff. Good. You take care of your staff. You take care of your staff. You've experienced too much of staff life to not take care of your staff. Um, watch your coaster POVs on the street. Pretend to ride. <laughs> Hold on, we we could do that. We can do that. Um, let's 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 find one. Wait, what what's a good roller coaster POV? Any suggestions? Um. <laughs> I don't know how to find like good roller should I just roller coaster POVs? How's Ubercop? How's Ubercop? <laughs> Why is Hal calling an Uber? Um Hold on, let me get the sizing of this tab right. There we go. Um oh I forgot about Bingus Cam. Bye bye Bingus Cam. You've had your fun. <laughs> you know what you did. Okay. That's actually the perfect size. I'm happy with that. Um, this one? Oh, it's so bright. This looks right. Home improvement is shut up, shut up, shut up. Visit Wayfair.co.uk. That's kind of loud. Whoa. I may make that quieter. I also won't do that. <laughs> coaster roleplay? What am I supposed to do? Like pretend that I'm holding on to the ba the uh the the seat rest thing? <laughs> I love that this one has two people talking in the background, like, oh I'm so excited to try this. Full screen? Okay, I'll full screen. Actually, I don't I don't trust that if I full screen you'll be able to see it. 
So we're gonna have to do this. This is cool. This is a prototype? Oh, damn. Still under construction, expected to be completed for 2022. You can see it? Amazing, okay. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, did you see that bird over there? Whoa! See, if I do this, I can't see Twitch chat. Which is good, because realistically, on a roller coaster, you wouldn't be able to see Twitch chat. Did you know roller coasters in real life don't have Twitch chat in them? Bush Gardens Tampa coasters, you love those in person? I could do that. We could do Bush, Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens roller coasters POV. Um, <laughs> this is content. <laughs> if I bring up the roller coasters in, in, in full screen, I can't see what everyone's saying. Then I just have to live with it. Um. Every roller coaster at Bush Gardens, Tampa, 4K on ride POV. This seems good. What about that? That's a good compromise. Um. How much coast knowledge you've learned from games and YouTube channels like this? It'll just be a competition between you and Trash then for, for Coast the Nerd title. This looks fun. The only, yeah, like, the only theme park I've been into in the UK, as far as I'm aware, there's only, like, three. There's Thorpe Park, Drayton Manor, and Alton Towers. And I've only, uh, been able to go to Alton Towers, um, and I think Drayton Manor when I was younger. Um, we don't have many in the UK. There's a ton, really? Okay, but I mean, like, big ones. Because there's also just, like, pleasure beaches at different places, but they're not, like, they're not, like, real. Oh, this one looks really fun. Every time I see one of these, I just want to tilt my head. Thought Park only really wants. I would love to go to Thought Park. I would love to. It's a dream. Um, this one looks really fun. Thought Park is super fun. I really want to go. I, I don't know what the like. I don't know what rides they have at Thought Park, but I know that I would like to go. I really do like theme parks. Drayton Manor is good for one ride that they have called Air. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not called Air. It's not called Air. I don't know what it's called. Air is the old one at Alton Towers, but, um... They used to have, um... The one at Drayton Manor is basically like a stand-up ride, so you basically... You you all sat down, but you're stood up. It's great. Into the tunnel, YouTuber. I'm gonna turn their volume down a little bit. I like their enthusiasm, and I feel bad, but we have to. This one is so intense, they just said. Good for them. Need a coupon, Mr. Beast. He sure did say that. You know, if he ever said anything, Mr. Beast sure did ask if we need a coupon. And do we? When to a shop and you went, you liked it before though. That's this one, right? This one does look good. It looks like a long one as well. I don't know, maybe if I was on them, they'd feel quicker. Um, but as it is, like, they're actually quite long. This ride kicks all sorts of ass. I love you, Rob, but you're, he's so loud. You're so loud. Oh my god. Um. You may or may not be attending Alton Tower sometime. Enjoy. Have fun. Know that I am jealous, but uh, cannot go myself. How dare you? Iron Gwazi. What is this one? Holy shit. This one looks... The aesthetic of this one is wild. This looks like it's just in the middle of construction. Florida man loud. Yeah, hit new article. Florida man has not done anything particularly bad. He's just really loud. He should probably shut up. This one looks so good. It looks really fast as well. If you like this one, you should look at Zadra in Poland. I can look at Zadra in Poland. Hell yeah. We'll add that to the list. Pole lad. Lads! 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 I've just remembered that at some point the bar over the road's gonna open again. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot that I lived in peace. That one's really quick, but that's really good. Um. The head shaking. It used to be a wooden coaster, really? That last one? Or Cheetah Hunt? Iron Gauzy looks really cool. 
Cheat hunt looks so shit. Go away, Google. The pup opposite me was closed for a month and it was bliss. It's so good. It's so good when the pub is closed. Why must it open again? Why do we have to live to suffer, Corvus? We can't simply move. That's, uh, it's too complicated. It, it really is. My contract lasts until July. I have to stay. I have to stay. Okay, this is nice. This isn't as cool as Iron Gwazi, but it has some good dips. The company RMC came and redesigned Gwazi after it closed to get a better layout and steel track with wood supports. It looks, it looks sick. It looks very sick. I trust RMC with my heart. RMC can have my heart, my house, my home. Pretty common with Alderwood Coasters in the US. Okay, so Alderwood Coasters in the US is sort of being re, like, reassembled by RMC. Is that the, is that the trend? The twisty bit, my goodness. Oh, I love theme park review. This is so cute. As much as I love these videos, I can't imagine riding roller coaster next to this guy. Yeah, he's, he's said some things. Uh, it's called Cheetah because it goes past the Cheetah enclosure. Bush Gardens is part of a zoo. That's so cool. That's really cool. I wonder how the cheetahs feel about that. I don't know how I'd feel about it if I was a cheetah. I can tell you that. Okay. There's one remodel in Netherlands called Untamed. Okay, damn. Oh, I want to go to more theme parks. I bet other countries have really good theme parks. I bet everywhere has really good theme parks. <laughs> okay, so that one stops for a little bit. That one's got a good view as well. I was gonna say, when when your experience of theme parks is basically just Alton Towers in the UK, obviously Alton Towers in the UK is sort of, this is cool. This is really cool. That looks so fun. That looks really fun. Um, Alton Towers in the UK, everything's built really low because it's in like a, the local area is like really pretty or something, I don't know. Um, so I, I'm not used to these kind of rides that actually have like really high up bits, but they look sick. The reason why loops and coasters are shaped the way they are is because the first loop coaster made people faint or vomit with the consistent g-force of a fully circular loop. Aww. Did they try getting good? Did they try taking a travel sickness tablet and getting over it? Because that's what I would have done if I was them. I would have simply just been better. <laughs> oh damn, we're going over the car park. Hell yeah. RMC did a ground up non-conversion build at a random zoo in Sweden and also Zadra as a ground up. Okay, so they, they remodel uh, wooden ones, but then also they've just built some of their own. Hell yeah. I want to look at Zadra. Once we're through this video, we'll look at Zadra. Unless I give up halfway, which is possible. Oblivion's full drop is 180 feet, including the underground. Why is this one going backwards? Oh, I'll be honest. Roller coasters that go back backwards really trip me up. Like, I love roller coasters. I can handle loops. Loops are fine. Um, I can handle like any kind of sitting. Like, I don't. I don't care. I don't care if I'm in a little cart or if I have an overhead or if I'm stood up. I don't care. Backwards fucks me up. It makes me feel really weird. Saying that, would I go on this roller coaster? Yeah. Would I? What the fuck is that loop? That that's so weird. I like that one. Um, Six Flags Magic Mountain also has some very unique rides, like winged coasters, where you sit on the sides and the seats turn. That's cool. That's very cool. I love it when the seats turn around. <laughs> me when the seat is turn around <laughs> actively holding in nerd mode it must be good to be able to watch these videos and actually have like background and understanding and the vocabulary because i'm sat here like oh I, the, the city thingy where you're in a cart the city thingy where something comes over your head um and there's there's probably actual words for the bullshit that i'm spouting i don't need a coupon mr beast stop it i'm fine i'm actually fine this one's kind of mid. <laughs> like, this is just fine. But I love the enthusiasm of the, the person filming these. I kind of want to go to Bush Gardens Tampa now. It looks like we have a lot of good rides. In particular, Iron Gwazi, I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. This looks fun. Wait, does this one, like, lift up? 
So it's a reverse of the one at Alton Towers that drops down. Uh, 13, I think. Although it's easily very different mechanisms. This is so cute. Look at this. Oh, damn. Okay, that almost looks like it's curving to the side a little. This one's really cute. Okay. Okay. That's... See, I feel like that can't be as good as when you go uphill really slowly and then go down, you know? I feel like just a slow descent upwards whilst facing forwards just can't be that good. It can't be that good. <laughs> oh, damn! So the cart spin and then you have to go backwards? That's kind of cool. One coming up and one coming down, don't collide. Okay, that's actually very smart. Okay, so it's for a functional reason as well. God, backwards messes me up. I cannot do backwards. Oh yeah, shit. You can like see it there, I think. A bit lifting? Is that, yeah. Is that right? Or is that even a separate part? This bit looks good. Oh, and it is a spinny part. People riding with it must be so awkward. I don't know. You get a little glimpse of the uh, people on the other cart in that last little bit and everyone looks happy. I don't know. I feel like when I'm on a roller coaster and people are being like really enthusiastically like screaming seemingly outside of their control or just saying random shit. It's really fun. Like it makes it seem more fun, actually. <laughs> People enjoying a roller coaster makes roller coasters seem better. You're not allowed to quote me. Mr. Beast owns Twitch and he will not let you quote that. Your quoting rights have been revoked. Okay, this one just looks like it goes around <laughs> in circles, in like little loops. Okay, this looks- this looks so mid. This looks unbelievably mid. Have we- have we used up all of our quotes? Standard layout world maps. <laughs> I don't know, this looks kind of mid. This looks really mid. Maybe it's better in person. That looks good. That bit looked good. Makes you slide a lot? Okay, I can see that. Okay, this bit looks good. That's cute. You got quote number one, you sure did. Wait, I want I wanna see what quote no, if I if I see what quote get, I have to close the, the roller coaster. And if I if this guy isn't screwed about roller coasters for one second, he's like a shark. He will simply keel over. Yeah, surely we've not ran out of quotes, right? Like, surely we've not used all of them. This is the same layout. So Alton Towers used to have a ride. I, I can't remember what exactly it was called, but it was called, like, Sonic Pinball or something. And it was basically this layout, but, like, Sonic-themed. <laughs> and in the queue, they used to have these little, like, mini, mini games um, that you could play, but they never worked. They were just, like, always really waterlogged or something. It was so shit. But I love that ride. Sonic Pinball. No one ever rode Sonic Sp Sonic Spinball! There we go. Okay, the Sonic one is different? Damn. Okay, in my defense, uh, my memory of it is probably like five, five, six years old? Maybe older even. I just remember it having those kind of turns and loops. Like where it would turn and then go down and back up. It's a custom layout, Mora. You have the words. <laughs> this is the result of roller coaster nerdery. You have the language. All I have is I remember the spinny. It went spin spin. <laughs> okay, so this is the Zadra wooden one. The you mentioned was RMC as well. Um, also, first of all, is this really a POV? Are you actually this low down? Because this does not seem accurate. You've been a roller goes to nerd since age eight. You've got the knowledge. Yeah, no, this feels- I feel like you're probably not this low down. Do you feel- is anyone else getting that vibe? Maybe I'm wrong. 
This is how a lot of POVs are mounted. Really? Because this is so close to the track. This just feels wrong. It's back to the original theme now. Rip Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't believe Sonic uh, died and they uh, took away his spinball roller coaster. Like official ones. Okay, so this is just like an official POV. As opposed to a guy screaming in the background. Oh, that looks sick. This looks very cool. It looks so fast as well. Is it actually this fast? This is feral. This is stupidly fast. And amazing. Similar coast to this at the Six Flags you mentioned? The park has like 16. I know that there's one. Isn't there Six Flags in America that is like most roller coasters in the world or something? That might be Six Flags. They've got 16. This coaster does look pog, right? This looks great. Hell yeah. It's so fast. It'll be Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Okay, so Twisted Colossus is also similar. With a name like Twisted Colossus, that makes sense. Because this is very twisty and also very big. <laughs> I want to go to more theme parks. I'm so sad. I've only been to like two in the UK. This is a fairly new park in Poland. It's been opening multiple huge coasters a year and it's insane. How are they doing it? Energy Landia? What the fuck? Her name is Energy Landia. Energy Landia has officially become a bucket list park. Why is it called Energy Landia? That's such a shit logo. I'm sorry. This looks, this looks terrible. <laughs> I'm sure the theme park, like the, the rides are amazing, but like what is going on with the name Energy Landia? Why do the images move when I hover over them? Oh God, I'm so tired. Okay. Dragon Zone? That's where Zadra is, that's cool. Dragon Adventure! Dragon? Stop it. Go away, please. Go away, Energy Landia. <laughs> it just seems such a goofy name. Energy Landia. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you should look at Tomorrowland Ride to Happiness uh, at Plopsoland Japan. Let me copy that then. Let's give that a look. We've only been to one Six Flags, the one in America, in Maryland. I, I never realized there were so many. Like, in my head, there was one Six Flags that everyone goes to, and that was it. <sighs> I wish this was Mr. Beast asking me if I wanted a coupon. I, that would be better. That would be better. It was pretty mid. Maybe the Maryland Six Flags is just not... Not one of the best. They had their own version of Hex, and it was funny seeing American tourists being scared by the gimmick. Hex is so good. God. The first time I went on Hex was amazing. Because I had no idea what it was going to be. Like, if, if you go on Hex and you don't know what is going to happen, it is so brilliant. It's so fun. Um, it was when I went to Alton Towers with, with uh, Trash and friends. That, that was my first time going on Hex, and I was just like, oh, it's just like an indoor thing, right? It's just like a, you sit down and they play a little movie. No, it slaps. It's so good. It's closed. No, bring it back. I want it. Let's watch this. Splash Mountain, POV at Disney World. We can do that next. We can definitely do that next. Splash Mountain, Disney World. Not Young Gravy. Okay, PV will happen soon. That and Jewel, because you're weirdly competitive with that ride. Is Jewel the- that's the, uh, the, um, yeah, the laser shooting ride. Yeah, I did that with, like, my uncle and my, um, cousin once. And that was really fun. It was me and my cousin in the back playing against my uncle. Okay, wait, this is fun. So these- the carts are spinny? Oh, this is cool. What's this ride? This looks sick. I love the spinny carts. And the way it's just in the middle of nowhere. 
Wait, is this the actual speed? Holy shit. This opened last year, it's in Belgium. This looks incredible. This looks so good. Take me to Belgium, I want to go someday. Take me to Plopsa Land, Japan, and we'll see some sky. I really want to go on the Tomorrowland Road to Happiness with you. <laughs> this looks really good. And Miller goes to Belgium. I become a theme park YouTuber specifically so that I can go to theme parks and call it a business expense. Inversions and launches on spinny cars feel so good. You tried it in Blackpool. It just looks really good. And I like the aesthetic with it being all like time pieces and, and like, I don't know, steampunk. That's lovely. The door is also closing for a refurb. Fuck, that's so sad. Stop closing my rides. Stop it. Give them to me. Give them back. <laughs> so this is Splash Mountain at Disney World. I do not care about the introduction. I'm sorry, Splash Mountain. Give me the ride. Take me to Belgium. I want to go to Pops the Land. <laughs> okay, I cannot explain why, but I really love this ad. I love, like, the way that she, like, enunciates when she says the car's making a weird noise. It makes me really happy, and I can't explain it. <sighs> Is this Splash Mountain? I never realized that Splash Mountain actually involved real water. How long does it involve real water for? They're changing the theme to the princess and the frog? Really? But like, Splash Mountain. This is, it's the thing, it's the Disney thing. It's always been Splash Mountain. The total job's out yet? Don't jinx me. God, runs in the family. I hate it. It's called Splash Mountain. Yeah, but like, people always talk about it like it's really cool and poggers, and like, water themed rides are just okay. You know? It's a log flume. People have been going feral over Splash Mountain for years, and it's literally just a log flume. That's so mid. I'm sorry. This looks so mid. <laughs> uh, your favorite ride you've been on is Shambhala at Port Adventura. I cannot tell you how. My family took me to Port Aventura when I was really young. And for years, I thought it was Porta Ventura. As in Porta Ventura. Because everyone in my family always was always said Porta Ventura. Porta Ventura. Like it was always really fast. Porta Ventura. So I just I just assumed it was Porta Ventura. So to this day, Port Aventura sounds so wrong. Like when people write Port Aventura. Port Aventura. I, I can't pause after the port. It has to be Port Aventura. It's Port Aventura, obviously. Um, you've never been a fan of wet rides, you always tease for it. Sorry, I like my clothes dry. Me, me too. On like a really hot day? Sure, absolutely. But like, if your theme park has a ride which is only fun on a day where it's like above 25 degrees, maybe. It's not that good. But also, it just means you have to pay for like a like an overcoat, or you have to pay for those like drying machine afterwards. You like Port Aventura, you've been like two, maybe three times. I, th I think I've only been there once. And I don't remember it, but I remember it being fun. This is Splash Mountain? I'm sorry, this is mid. I'm not even sorry actually, I think it's very uh, healthy of me to think that this is mid. <laughs> You're just in a log flume, slowly climbing a mountain. So that you can eventually go down the mountain and be soaked. What's the point? There's normally lots of music and a story. Ah, oh, so mid. You know, it's very valid if you like a ride where there's like music and a story, but I do not. I do not care for your ride if it is only music and a story. I want there to be uh, adventure excitement. You got completely soaked on Stormforce 10 and Drayton Manor the other week. Water rides are just like, they're only good if it's warm, otherwise they're so mid. It'll also be really cool with the theme update. It might be, yeah, it could be cool. 
this, this bit's kind of nice. This is kind of cute. This is very Disney. This is like aggressively Disney. Okay. Oh god, how long is this ride? you got a soft spot for dark rides with theme or characters. Yeah, and to be fair, like, Disney do it very well, don't they? Like, it looks cute on the inside. It's very well made. Good puppetry. But, like, this is so long. Why is this so long? I'm sorry. Port Aventura. Stan Port Aventura. I was specifically looking up Shambhala, right? It's a small world after all, gods. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong about that. If you're wrong about anything, it's, it's, you're not wrong about that. Um, let's do this one then. Shut up! Shut up! Um, had POV for River Quest at Fantasia Land? I could have a look at that. Right, uh, you can highly recommend theme rides as long as you don't have to queue too long. Yeah. Like, if I'm queuing for a long time, I want, like, a, a solid, unique roller coaster experience. <laughs> you think I should experience It's a Small World with the sound turned up the whole video? I've never, I've never, I've never engaged with It's a Small World. <laughs> you went to all that. It's a very small world for you, after all. You go into the ride and, and you actually can't get into the ride because you're simply so tall uh, and the world is so small. Um, and you, you have to sit outside and listen to the music and, and cry uh, into your hands. Into your gigantic, proportionally large 50 foot hands. Engage with it! It's a lifestyle! I'll do it after Shavala. And then I'm probably gonna end the stream. Um, oh, <laughs> And then I'm gonna end the stream and then I'm not streaming for like three weeks. This is so sad. I haven't had such a long gap between streams in so long. Well, ever. Ever. This, yeah. The last biggest gap I had between streams was uh, the one between being born and starting streaming. This is cool. This is very cool. I want to go to Port Aventura. Take me to Port Aventura. I want to go someday. Take me to. I don't even know what Port Aventura is. Portugal, I think. Just don't end stream, it's simple. No, shit, you make a really good point. God, what an incredible point. Spain, fuck! Shit! I was so close! <laughs> Damn! Okay, this looks really cool. That bit in the water was nice. God. I have such vague memories of Port Aventura, but to be fair, I would have been like five, six, maybe even younger. I want to go to Spain. I want to go to Port Ventura. I also want to go to Belgium, and I also want to go to the Poland theme park. What was that Energy Landia? I'm never. I'll never. I'll never get over that. Energy Landia. Okay, we'll watch. It's a small world. <sighs> POV. And I'll turn the volume up, but I'm not turning it up for you. up a little bit for you I guess how long is it what hold on hold on hold on this is this is a 13 minute video guys did you know Did nobody tell you? This is what you live for. Why does this still exist? Fuck, if I'd have known I was watching this, I'd have like poured myself a drink first. And by that I do mean like tea. Like, I want, like, a warm cup of tea. 
Can I this rock people who have it before fuels the chaos gremlin? <laughs> it's the equivalent of like... <sighs> so someone sat me down and told me a joke a while ago where the whole point of the joke is that the, 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 the joke has like really agonizingly long setup for ultimately the punchline to be, um, you know, horse walks into the bar, why the long face? And I swear to God, the setup was like 10, 15 minutes of this person talking and I was nodding along like, Shh, when the fuck is this joke gonna end? I want to cry. All for it to be why the long face? That's what this feels like. You put people on this ride, you're like, oh, it's a really cute little ride. And then they're like six minutes later, like how long have we been on this ride? And they don't even know that's only halfway. Every room has a different theme and take on the song. So you can't miss out on the small world. So you just can't. You can't. They sing in different languages? Jesus. This didn't happen to be the inspiration for the the uh, little robot. Not robot. The little uh, mechanical things and the song in Shrek, right? Drink the ride water? I don't, I don't have any left. It's gone. It's all gone. I'm gonna have to scoop up the ride water and chug it. I will drink water after the stream. I'll do it, I promise. How? I just don't. We're only four minutes in? Whose idea was this? This is feral! And I don't mean whose idea was it to watch this. I mean whose idea was it to make such a long ride where it's just this song. I just don't understand. I'm sure it's very pretty. I'm, I'm sure this is all very cool looking. Like they've made excellent use of colors. It's very pretty. You don't ride this ride because it's relaxing. Wouldn't wait ages though. I wouldn't wait at all. Surely now that I've watched this video, I've experienced it, right? Surely I've done it. If you skip through any parts of this, you're xenophobic. Is that what you tell people on the ride with them? You're like, no, 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 you have to pay, you have to pay attention to all of this. Do you hate cultures? Do you hate culture? I don't want to ride it in person. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to Disney World. I can't afford to go to Disney World, okay? If I'm going to pay that much money to go on holiday, I'm not going to Disney World. Did you know I could go to Poland and ride a really cool roller coaster at Energylandia? That's what I would do. Trip to Disney, no one go to Disney. <laughs> okay, I would, to be fair, Disney World food looks really good. But it's so much money. I could have several holidays to several theme parks for that much money. I'm glad you are telling me you're not going. I'm not going, I'm not going! Energy Landia meetup where I bore you with the ride stats. No, 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 it's fine. How about you tell us the ride stats on the ride? For, for some extra spice and excitement. I think that would be good. Is that... What is going on here? I'm too busy looking at the green donkey? The, the green... The silly monkeys? I, oh, the giraffes are nice. Okay, I'll give you that. Those are some nice looking giraffes. Those are some friendly giraffes. This room feels odd. I can tell you that. Why are there children on the elephant? I don't think that's what children do. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, I can't be more enthusiastic about the elephant. I think the children are endangered. They're riding upon the elephant. That can't be good. What is happening? Oh, we're about halfway. We're about halfway. Oh, 
that doesn't help that it's like weirdly blurry, right? Okay, hold on. Hold on. If we're doing this, we're gonna do it properly. <sighs> there we go. 1080p. I saw the penguins. I saw them. I saw them just rotating on the ice. I saw them just spinning around in perfect circles. <laughs> Look, it's Hawaii. How am I supposed to know? What about any of this is Hawaii? I love Hawaii, that's true. I've always said I love Hawaii and I love anything that evokes the imagery of Hawaii. <laughs> that's my <laughs> I've always said that I love Mexico and anything that evokes the imagery of Mexico. <laughs> what is happening? With birds? Where are we now? I wish there'd be like a voice on the announcer just like, You're in Mexico now. Now this is Hawaii. Like, I wish they'd tell me. Because I don't know. If this is supposed to be educational, can't wait for the bloodborne section. The bloodborne section? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this section seems kind of empty. They kind of did Hawaii dirty here, didn't they? This bit's like, kind of bland. I think Hawaii deserves better. Is that Australia? You pay good money to go to a theme park that's literally just differently themed in the small world. What do you mean differently themed? Is this ride not enough of different theming for you? It's 13 minutes of rooms with varying themes. How would you have more differently themed It's a Small World rides? How can there be more? You want to write a It's a Small World Soulsborn universe, right? Uh, okay, no, imagine it's uh, the Dolorite at Alton Towers, except it's Soulsborn themed. So you've got like Dark Souls enemies and like a Bloodborne, like Father Gascoigne pops out and you have to like shoot them, but also It's a Small World plays at the same time. Sounds like screaming. Is there a child crying in the background? Is that what I can hear? I can hear like the wailing of mechanical objects. Why is it flashing so much? It's part of the ambiance. The ambiance is like, can you not hear that? It's like screeching. Sounds like a drill. It genuinely sounds like someone <laughs> using a drill. It sounds like this, like I'm fully expecting the camera to pan around and there's just like a guy in a hiver's jacket and like a hard hat just like soaring at something. <laughs> Look at that boat! Oh no, God. <laughs> Take me out of this place. You wish 13 minute clips existed just to save this experience? Hey, let me introduce you to my friend, the highlight. Uh, I think only I can make a highlight, but I certainly can. I'm not more engaged. I'm not becoming more engaged. I feel less engaged now. I'm just putting in the two earphones so I can properly hear it, okay? I'm not engaged. I'm not paying attention. Adios. Goodbye. Sayonara. See ya. Aloha. Bon appetit. Ciao. Okay, actually, the last like six minutes of that went by a lot faster than the first six. The first six went by very slowly. I 
cannot say I hated that experience. Nor can I say that I loved it. I think if I was a real person actually there, that would be more enjoyable. As it is, because I'm watching it on YouTube, and I can't fully look around me, it's just kind of mid. My one more. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, um, so I think we're done now. Write it again? No, thank you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Am I more tempted to go to Disney World now? Just so I can ride the It's a Small World ride. Like a little bit. Like I think I would queue for that ride. But I would not queue for that long. I'd queue for like a little bit. Like a little bit. There's no queue! Oh damn, there's no queue on the road. We can go again, we can go again. She just, just crawled onto the railing and they won't even notice. Again, again. We have It's a Small Stream and I just watched that on repeat for three hours. You don't understand. It would... No, you think it would be fun. It would not be fun. It would stop being entertaining very quickly. It would almost immediately become not fun. Like, faster than you can comprehend, it would become terrible. It would be awful and everyone would hate it. And I can promise you that. Even Corvus would hate it. Even It's a Small World's strongest soldier would hate it. <laughs> it would not be fun. It would be so terrible. Oh god, anyway, so that was the big playing lots of Wii games stream. We did great. Now I have to put away the entire Wii U. I love disassembling the Wii U. It's so fun. But, um, thank you all for hanging out today. <laughs> Stop sassing me! None of you feel this strongly about It's a Small World. I refuse to believe that you do. <laughs> okay. The hacking wasn't too bad for Splatoon. It's fine. All they said was that they were a hacker. They didn't, you know, commit any great atrocity. But yeah, I'm not back for... Like, two and a half weeks. I'm glad you wrote the entire It's a Small World. Binge Disneyland Paris six times, you've been on it every time. I mean, if you're gonna go to a theme park that has that, you're right that you should go on it. Like, you really should. That's kind of just, that's kind of just law, you know? You really, whoops. We're gonna just pretend that I didn't just accidentally throw my shoe at the Wii U. That didn't happen. Anyway, um, I won't be back this Saturday, nor will I be back next week, nor will I be back the week after. I will, however, be spending a holiday reading lots of books and uh, hopefully eating a lot of um, all-inclusive breakfast buffets. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks fine. It was a sandal and it only knocked it. Yeah, um, if you do stream Corvus, uh, I may have time, particularly in the second week that I'm away to actually be able to watch. Um, so if you do stream. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you will enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week and the remainder of your early September. <laughs> um, thank you all for hanging out today, even if we did watch It's a Small World. And until next time, XOXO, go piss girl. <laughs>